This seems so scarce. Okay, this is how you guys get Wait. quality in life. Okay, ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah, this is the one and only stream room. You're on stream, be careful. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Don't! Look at how cute this is, okay? Hold on. I thought Brittany was like 5'9". I don't know why. She just looks like... She looks like she'd be a big person on stream. Look at this, look at this. Wait, come in here. Brittany! Look at this. Look at this itty bitty person. Look at how small she is. Oh my god. Abba, come here. Be sociable. Be tall. Yeah. Be a tall person. You're like our older brother. <laughs> There they are. That's your people. I look like her pimp. Get what do you mean by that? What the fuck? <laughs> what? what does it even mean? <laughs> okay. Um, Ooh, what? Can I see the back? Um, yeah, you know, just walk around and yeah, just look at everything. I am, can yeah, I look through your drawers? Oh my god, I don't have any, but... You don't have any drawers? No. Is this where you keep the other women? Lab, Anna, are you in here? <laughs> Funny. You guys want chairs, or what do you want to do? Um. I mean. I, what are your plans? What are the plans? I, I know she needs to talk to you, and then she needs to leave with Melina mm -hmm. to go do like Beach horse stuff. stuff. Okay, and then I'm babysitting you today, or what? Yeah, we're gonna babysit you for like an hour and a half, and that's it. I'm not gonna take too much of your time because I know you guys. Take all the time you want. Allegations to address and stuff. Wait, Are you about? eating beans and chocolate? What the fuck is this? Uh, it's oatmeal. That's okay. Did hey, you listen. microwave it? Everybody eats Does it matter? This man loves microwave. What's wrong with microwaving oatmeal? I'm sorry, you're one of those guys like, I only boil the milk. I make my oatmeal on the stove. I, I stove boil it. Well, <laughs> some do? of us have jobs. Some of us stream more than like three hours a week, so you know. I you have, have jobs. Like, I just oh, make my money differently than you. Than she you. lives on a farm. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, you want to dox her too? You want to tell her what, like where the farm is, what kind of animals it got? Um, I think living on a farm is pretty, uh, pretty anonymous enough. That's oh, like yeah? me saying you live in a house. Yeah, you wow. think so? Wow. I don't know, wow, man. Steven. All right. Out of all the people in my life who tell my secrets, it's Steven. Good. Okay. So what's been going on today? Has it uh, been more lawyer stuff, more, uh, more, more Twitter stuff, or is it... Uh... Uh, all sorts of stuff is going on, actually. Hold on, let me... Good. Let's do some... Why are you look so happy on the screen? Me? Yeah. I always, I'm just a happy person. <laughs> it's a little <laughs> off putting. <laughs> Super high energy. Calm down, okay? I was gonna say you've already hung out with me a couple days, don't you know I'm high energy? Do you, are you actually like terrified of uh, getting COVID? Is that something that you're actually like scared of? Only because I have lupus and only because I'm traveling. Yeah. Yeah. All it right. could really fuck up my plans. You know you can just not say that you have COVID and still travel. Okay, be honest. How many people have made house jokes at you so far? House jokes? What is that? Is that Holy shit. What's a house yeah, joke? What's a house joke? What are you about? There's a really famous like doctor drama called House. Oh, Doctor House. house. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone tells me that it's never the lupus. Yeah, that's like that's like a million times. I I wish it was never the lupus, but it seems like I do have it. I mean, <laughs> at least it's lupus and nothing worse. Can you saw? Can you rip the water bottles out of the bag? Mm -hmm. Mine is a side punch. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I don't know why. I feel like on stream when I'm watching it, the lighting in the room looks way more gay than it does in person. It's not. What do you mean by gay? Like it's like Listen. pink and purple. Okay. Oh, you're Homophobic, right. anti-Semitic, pick one. You can't do both. Okay. You can certainly do both. Have you never heard of multitasking or multiple jobs? Okay. Who's is Dan still here? Yeah. Oh, oh is Dan one? Yo, oh, listen. Okay. No. First off, well, let's get let's get to this point. Dan was all like going crazy apparently. He's like, I'm gonna go DEF CON 5 on Apple when I get back. It's over. No more of the anti Semitism. So I'm like, great, Dan, why don't we have a discussion in person? And the dude's like, yeah, if you come to Miami Beach. <laughs> and so I look it up on Google, and this motherfucker's 15 minutes away from where Steven lives. And he refuses to come in person to have this discussion. How much of a boomer do you have to be to refuse to leave your home? He drives a scooter. He drives a what? A scooter. His wife dominates him bruv, and takes the cars. Bruv, listen, he's told me he's made enough money to afford a $10. It's his a wife's $10. money. It's his wife's money a now. A $10. Okay, hold on real quick. Can somebody in here talk? Aaron or Dan or anybody? <clears throat> yeah, hello? hello? I'm being slandered? <laughs> slandered? You're being accurately portrayed as a lazy fuck. Well, yeah, that is true. But I'm up front with it. No, uh, no, no, you I, weren't. You did not explain I mean, why. Oh, well, I mean, everyone. Why you didn't want to leave Miami Beach? Oh, 
Well, I'm lazy. Yeah, but okay. I mean that's not like a that's like not like an unknown. All right, um, let, let, let's get straight to it. So Dan is here, and he's a busy man, as most Jewish people are. What? Well, no, I thought I, we can do it now, but uh, I think we're going to be meeting up tonight. And also, are you? Um, did you say you're only here for an hour and a half, or what? Um, listen. What's what's what, what do you guys have in mind? What's going on? Keep talking, Dan. What's up? Uh, what do? Wait, oh, so you're, you're setting one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Oh, hello, hello. Yeah, are we good? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I thought that we, well, I guess the question is, do you have to go somewhere in an hour and a half, or what's the deal? Uh, I was just going to not spend more Stephen's time more than an hour and a half. I was going to stay on stream for like five hours. <clears throat> well, where, wait, are you going someplace else? Like, is I mean, it like I, you feel I, bad I, about I, taking an hour and a half of time? Because he has nothing going on. I, I, I can do other stuff. And so what I'm trying to say is this is not like a, an obligation. So what, what do you want to do? Do you want to meet up in we Miami Beach? We can definitely meet up, have a nice meal. Okay. okay. Uh, hang out. I think these are all good things. He has nothing going on. No, no, no. I'm not doing all that. So we can do this discussion and then uh, we'll wrap it up there. I'm not going to meet up for no dinner. <gasps> wow. Wow. Hater. Wow. Is it because he's Jewish? No dinner? Wow. No, no, no. I mean, wow. I, had, I had dinner with Steven yesterday. I don't need to do it again. Wow. <laughs> you guys could go dancing. Uh, oh. he, he has a bad knee. That's why he didn't want to go skating with us yesterday. And also, the These dancing are not, spots are like oftentimes like 15 minutes away from Miami Beach, so he doesn't go any further than the outline. But of that's also not unknown. Okay. All right. Let's get to it. Let's let let's, let's so, so Dan so. would have had fun with this yesterday, right? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. Cool. Well, Dan loves me, so I think he would have. It really would have changed his life for the better. Yeah. So so Dan, okay. go ahead. Uh, lay out your DefCon Five case. Okay. Well, let's see. Where do I where do I start? There you go. There's a lot of anti um, So I was so I was gone for a week, and for your information, this week was what seemed to be the week of a lot of. Um, African American issues with um, someone named uh, Anna, or is it is that the right person, Anna? Um, which is like a it seemed like a pretty crazy person, but there's also a lot of other people that came on, and one of the um, it seemed like one of the common things that was coming up was a lot of kind of you know anti Semitism, a lot of a lot of stuff there, kind of as abroad, and and there was a few. Um, there was a few things that, in general, I kind of wanted to go over first. So I guess the first thing um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say out uh, I'm gonna say kind of the things that I, I I had a list of quotes here that someone helped me put together. Dan, Let's get to the here. fucking point. I, God, I the oh my God. I'm I trying to Jews. address shit. He wants to address it. It doesn't help if I just say like, "Hey, do you hate Jews?" He says no, and that's the end of the fucking conversation. We can do that. Abba, do you hate Jews? No. Nope. There we go. <laughs> We're done. All right, cool. We're good. Yeah, are you happy, Steve? Or, Dan, or do you you're want me to actually put my thing in? Dan, then shut the fuck up, Steve. All right, all right, all right? No all one all cares all what you have to say about this. All right, what's the, all first, right. What's the first quote? What's the first quote? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Um, okay. So one of the first quotes that there was was, let me pull up this link. At some point, we have to move forward. He's not uh, really like I don't know what he's doing right now. I don't know why he's... He's got, what? like, stage fright. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Go ahead. Just say the quote. No, repeat, no. Repeat Steve, I, I need you to shut the fuck up. Do not... Yes. Right now. We don't need your okay. Christian, Christian values per piercing through the comp. Go ahead, Ben. Say, say the quote. Say the quote. Just say it straight. Yeah. Uh, so one of the first things you said, I mean, there are videos, so I was going to try and watch it. But uh, I have things right here. At some point, we have to move forward. And that was a comment about uh, the Holocaust and slavery. So I guess the question to that would be, um, do you think that like Jewish people are being... I, I'm not gonna. You can you shut the fuck up? Okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna breeze past this because I feel Steven. like we're gonna go over stuff that's really useless. No, okay. no, I can't do this with this motherfucker there. <laughs> laughing. Okay, I, I'll do it takes away all this. This is a very serious I, issue. I, 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 My people, I, I, Stephen, I, I, are I, suffering I, out here, and you're laughing. Okay. You're standing there, sitting there, laughing. It's not good, Stephen. All right, all right. Let's get straight to it. So the quote was some along the lines of. At some point, we have to get over it. Uh, you know, Jews have At to get over. At some point, we have to move hold on, hold on. Jews yes, have to okay. get over the Holocaust, and I would say black people have to get over Jim Crow and Jim Crow and slavery. Yes, and slavery. And then well. I, I I put the little bow on top by saying, and if you got a problem with that, well, tough luck. You got to pick yourself up by the bootstraps. Okay. So Dan, uh, yeah. which which part of that quote do you have an issue with? The picking yourself well, up it, by the bootstraps. Um, I think the part that we have to get over it. So I think it's a pretty. 
Um, so. It's a pretty serious event that happened. Okay. And the most important part is that I think for a lot of people, what happened is still kind of really felt today. This isn't like something that happened a long uh, uh, time uh, ago. Uh, uh, okay, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just cut it short just so this is way easier. Okay. I was talking to Lav and I was having a good time triggering her. Oh no! Okay. The walk back. <laughs> it's not a walk back. Can I ask anybody watching? Can when someone says, pick yourself by the bootstraps, what are we thinking of? Go ahead, Stephen. Tell me. What, what, when you hear "pick yourself up by the bootstraps," what do you think? What do you think? Well, it's like a Republican. It's a Republican. Republican okay. Thing to okay. Say. So I was giving the Jews the same talk that I've heard Black people have to hear for a long mm. time. Okay. Mm. And so I was purposely saying "pick yourself up by the bootstraps" as a way to give it away. Now, if you can't catch the humor or the joking tone in that, or like the trolling in that, sorry. But if I say that, something, listen, like, that's fine. I wasn't okay. here. Look, all, all I would say. Okay. okay. So. These are all okay. That's fine. So it sounds like you were just bullshitting with all these things. So that's oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. better. So it means you don't believe it. That's good. So look, the only thing I would say, look, keep this in mind right yeah, here. You yeah. are an immensely influential person right now, and right now we have fucking Kanye going out there doing crazy shit. So I would just say like, there's a lot of fucking morons in the subreddit, as you can see, and they yeah. actually believed that you did this. And it's it's a little bit, it's a little bit scary, I think, for Jews in general right now. Like, no one thinks the Holocaust is coming in the next week or anything like that, but yeah. it is super fucking scary when, like, really popular fucking people like Kanye can maybe get... Like, Kanye has a huge amount of fucking influence. If that guy can get, like, a lot of black people to actually fucking hate Jews and think that, like, we're holding them down, like, it leads into crazy shit like that happening. So that's it. It's, it first off, it's good that you don't believe this, and then I guess I would say just be more... Yeah. Be more ironic. So, like, be like Dave Chappelle. No, no, your, no. It's not don't like ever I, make jokes uh, uh, about the Holocaust. That's uh, unacceptable. Hold up, hold up. No, if that's not that's not it. Just be more obvious that it's jokes and not serious. So we like, can make jokes about like slavery and shit. Dan, but, here's like, the problem. It mm -hmm. is very obvious. It's just that for a lot of people, humor just flies over your head. That's okay. the, and, 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 and you're speaking to this many people. It's gonna happen. Do yeah, Jews like comedy? Are they even funny? Who? The Jews. Because Dan's Jewish, right? Dan, what do you think? Are Jewish people funny? Do they even like comedy? We, uh, we do, and I think stuff. we're probably one of the most well known for pointing. Name uh, a Jewish comedian. Name three: Larry David, Seinfeld, and probably a fucking million others. Those are the only two I can oh, think of right at the top mm. of my head. <laughs> what? Um, Name yeah, one Larry I, David stand-up special. Can you shut the fuck up, Christ? Um, look, I think in general, this is all. This is good stuff. This is all the resolution there is. I just wow, saw, like, really? 30... That was the epic debate. There it was. I mean, he said he was going to go DEF CON, so I was ready, you know what I mean? <laughs> you were well, gonna go... It's not allowed to go DEF CON when you say you weren't fucking serious. If you came out here like, yeah, the fucking Jews are whining and they're a bunch of bitches and they need to get up, then yeah, it's a very serious fucking conversation because yeah, it's actually yeah. a scary fucking time a little bit with this shit and it deserves to be taken seriously. Is it really fucking... Right it's is not that good that when, like, real? someone is so fucking mad. popular yeah. as Kanye is saying that shit. It's he just got back from like scary. Israel and he went like on a fucking holy mission. Or, and he, like, or, I'll be honest, Dan, I don't share a concern, but I also don't know the struggle. So for me, like, it's not something. Oh, but, Dan definitely knows it, the struggle for sure. But, but okay. oh, it's really oh, hard oh, to do oh, this. Oh, hold Steve, on. Let, let me concede oh, on something. I am completely ignorant, nor do I really care that deeply about like the Jewish struggle. And so if you're saying these jokes during these times are like a frightening thing, then I will try no, to. That, I'll, that, I'll try, that's I'll, taking I'll try away to add, from what I'm saying. No, no, no. Hold on. I'll be honest. I'm just going to be straight. I'll try to add 10 levels of irony so that if I do... No, that's just... not what I'm saying either. That's not fair. What I'm saying is if people genuinely think that you f assume that Jews are all working together, then it's not a joke. People are just going to walk away thinking you assume all Jews well, work together. I'm and fine that, with that. And since you're cool, maybe we should think that they... No, do. no, but I, I'm fine with people walking away if they believe that. I, I really don't care. You sh you shouldn't. That's not good. Well, so you they're both walking like... back. No, no. no Dan is okay with the jokes now, and Abba's saying they're just jokes, so... Um... Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm okay it, it, with it, jokes it, it, that are obvious that are jokes, as long as people aren't. I think walking away, thinking like, "Oh, Abba thinks that like that Jews are all working together to hold fucking blacks down." It's not true. I don't know. To, to me, and you've had long form discussion about this, right? During yeah. the record label talk, we talked about um, the overrepresentation of Jews in positions of media and stuff like that. And then we talked about the reason why we need to demystify it, because if we don't acknowledge it, that's a fact. And then we don't demystify it, then people are going to come up to their own conclusions. And I thought that was a pretty good bow to wrap up that discussion. We were doing it in a serious tone. So if somebody wants to have a serious debate to me about me and being serious, I'm fine with it. If I'm just cracking jokes and trolling laugh because I hate that bitch, then I will, you know, oh, you, do something. You won in the end, I'll say on that, because she's out of the picture now. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I, I think I even finished up that discussion by being like, uh, I, I'm very uncomfortable by the fact that two Jews are out here defending Israel and there's no one 
to, to cite the Palestinian side. And uh, were, were they? I, 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 Israel? Yeah, 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 I mean, look, listen, Loki, but I was just throwing that out there. I'm not a, I'm not even a Palestinian lover like that, so I thought it was a good moment for me. But just, just remember that people in general are greedy. That's it. It's yeah. not it, like Jews would know. You know, they remember the TLC. Like, that was, oh, yeah. It's it's, that it's a, called edgy humor. Yeah, that was a black owned record label. Like I think you put anyone in charge of any business, and they're just going to be greedy. Stuff if you want, if you want, we could do a part two on the whole record label and do research on it because I, I've actually done a lot. I, of I feel since. like so here's the thing. You know what was? I don't know if you looked at the comments for that video. Yeah. And I just got fucking destroyed. Honestly. Yes, but because I, I but I I, walk, I looked at it and I was like, actually, I, I, I when I was talking to you, I feel like I think we were both kind of right in what we were saying. But I think the problem with that thing is there's nothing I can say uh, on that because people are always gonna be like, oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, you took I, advantage of this person because there's too many communists out there that just assume <laughs> any work you do. You know, you should have all the rights to it forever. We, uh, so there's no way I can ever. We don't have to rehash it. it. We don't have to rehash it. Well, now. so when Dan gives me life advice, I can't say I feel like I'm right, even though everyone else is wrong. But Dan can say when he has debates about black and Jewish issues that he can feel like he's right, even if everybody says he's wrong. Ooh. That's pretty um, inconsistent. Dan. It wasn't a black and Jewish issue. Was really? It, uh, the record, the black no, record no, no, labels the, the being the owned by there, Jewish actually, people. The thing, the problem with that debate was nothing to do with blacks and Jews. It was entirely to do with our record Ooh, labels. Oh, seems to disagree. Can you shut the fuck up for a minute? God, the issue with that thing was literally our record labels exploiting people. It didn't have anything to do with race at all. Well, it was the Jewish day, record was labels like, exploiting black. Yeah, people. yeah. So there's definitely periods. Hold up, there's definitely periods that we can go through those at, at a different point where Jews. You know what, Anna? Own, I want you to know something. Majority. If you're out there, no, Steve, you want to keep going, Anna? Yeah. Steve tells me in private he has to do this to placate you, and that's why he goes so hard every time he says anything. No, we're good. Me I and know, Anna are good. We're fine. I can do some trolling too, Steve. You want to do it? We can have a troll off. Because we can both make each other's life fucking fun here. You want, you love the drama, don't you? I got DMs, Anna. Message me. I'll tell you how much Steve loves your conversations. Let's go. What? Shut what are the you fuck implying? up, Steven. Yeah, not so fun now. Yeah, no, I know Steven talks shit about our conversations. No, I don't. I, I was no, 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 he he's here, totally. He's Anna's fine, living, guys. Dating. Last year, Anna's fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. Homophobia. Like, I know. I get it, dude. Like, I actually am well aware. Honestly, I'm just using Steven for my own benefit. We're Big. mutually like, ex yeah, like, me fucking too. Yeah, exactly. I think we're all just using each other at this point. Okay, it's fine. I'll, I mean, all right, all right, all right. but I don't worry. We, is... If we ever get a chance, we can talk about this more in depthly. But um... I, I honestly, at this point, now that I know what I know, I don't care as much. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my, my views are pretty boring. It's just like I, I really am no. not that interested. Yeah, that's like, normie. That's normie views. Yeah. That's the only time you you've ever to, come up in our DMs. You, you just okay. I know you funnier. deleted the rest of those DMs <laughs> before you told me that search, yeah. but it's fine. Um, yeah, we, 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 we good. We good. Um, but before that, Brittany's got to leave with uh, Mel in a little bit. So I know Brittany's got a lot of like um, level four stuff she wants. Yeah. To what do you want to say? Okay. Well, first of all, she's eating, so we have time. Um, the chat is requesting that I slap you on stream. No. What? That's weird. That is Why? Weird. I do BDSM. You're a bottom. It's perfect. You did not. You just made it five times more weird. <laughs> what? Oh you wait, real, real quick, Abba. <laughs> I, I, I was. What? Are you, uh, hold on. I was sorry, Abba. The DMs I was talking about getting deleted were not about you. They were about Anna, not Abba. Anna. Okay. Anna, different person. Mm. Hi. Okay, that's interesting Mel. to me. Melly Mel. Hello. What's up? Look at all my friends. Wow. Oh. So are you proud of me? Are they crazy? <laughs> um. Yes, and not that much. You sure? The misogyny is clear. Aren't, um, aren't, aren't I way more so boring wait, in person? So let me ask in that case. Go ahead. Who do you think were more crazy? Max or Lab before shit went down? Are you asking him or them? More crazy? Easily Max. You thought so, like two months ago? Two months? Yeah, for sure. Really? Max is very non-standard. Lab is like pretty crazy, but it's like standard like spoiled white girl crazy. Like it's very like, oh, like I would expect to see like... Me and you. Let's say six months ago. No, uh, no, Max has been crazy since day one. I just didn't think he was gonna fuck me over. <laughs> yeah, Max has always been like very. I thought you strange. understood Max better than all of us, though. Yeah. Well, I could translate for him, but. No, 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 no. I thought you were like I understand Max and I get him and everyone else doesn't get him and I'm the only one who's like. You're thinking of those are Max's fans and my separate at the same. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yo, Destiny. Mm. You know what? They're tr they're trying to have an in-person intervention. Go on, Mel. Mel tell intervention. Tell There's go, no go, need go. to intervene. He's already jettisoned from orbit. Go, go ahead, Mel. Tell him. Tell him what he's missing. You, YouTube Brit. You guys got what? a lot to get off your chest. About, what? about this whole saga. What what is he not getting that he needs to get? Need to wow, it's another life intervention. Time. You need to read the ethical slut because you are an unethical slut. No, I'm good. 
Okay. Thank you, though. No. Don't, 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 don't let him off the hook. Push, the, push it. Push it. Okay. Go for it. No. When you, when you have careful. <laughs> Go ahead. But be don't careful. Don't threaten her on stream. I'm just saying to be careful. You're trying to make me look at a certain way now. I'm not, but you're about to make me look at a certain way now. You're going to make me look in a certain no, way. No, I am not. We're both I'm going down saying. on this ship, okay? You making me look bad is like you rising on the Titanic right before it sinks again. Okay. <laughs> Go for it, Mel. Say it. Let me Red Bull up, yeah. I'm just saying, sometimes you gotta... You gotta give and take a little bit, meet in the halfway. Like, if you wanna have stable, meaningful relationships and stable work stuff, and you wanna actually grow in your work in a certain way, you have to give up a little bit of the crazy sometimes. That's all I'm saying. If you wanna have all crazy, go for it. I don't have all crazy. I could have all crazy. You Would you be happy? Crazy. No. Well, There's ways my life could be significantly more How crazy. much crazy in Wait, no, no, hold on, hold on. I think Mel brought up something interesting. She's Tell saying me. if you don't sacrifice some of the crazy stability in your life, at least your work life may not Sometimes be as present. Sometimes you gotta give up some things that you want in the Are you willing to do that? that yeah, I do. I already do. I sacrifice a significant amount of crazy. How? When? Who? I could live in a fucking polycule <laughs> with like people like Max and Lav. That would be 24-7 insanity. <laughs> that would be like, I'm gonna start my stream, I'm gonna lock the fucking door because okay. somebody might come in and kill me. When you me. say you could, does that mean like it's an option or does that mean It could be an option, yeah. But it what would do you be... mean could? For who? This present Steven? Sure. <laughs> Are you open to it, Lav, Max? Uh, as long as I have a weapon in my room and oh. my own bed, yeah. Do you like that energy? You seem it to. It would be wild. Would Could you imagine something? when we're doing the cancel shit and like Max and Lav are streaming in the other bedroom? <laughs> that would be she wild. She disappeared. I went to go We'd look at like her for reassurance and she's gone. We'd be like screaming at each other. That would be wild. Okay, so that is allowed, but I can't slap you? I didn't say that was allowed. But you you might you might want to do it a little bit. I'm just sitting. No, no, I just said it would be content. It would be chaotic. Mm, I don't do know if I would go it? that crazy. Do That's pretty crazy. It? I don't think that crazy. That's too much. Are you willing to stop talking to crazy people in your stream or no? That's like a safe No, way that's to do absolutely it. gonna continue to happen. <laughs> okay. Okay, for everyone listening, if you guys are interested in open relationships, read The Ethical Slut. I think it's a really good book. It's been updated every so many years because it's that good and it will help you sleep around ethically without breaking hearts or any issues like we've seen with this man right here. Okay, and then here's the reality. Let me tell you, somebody with probably more experience than Brittany, there is no such thing as being open without Whoa, breaking hearts. I did open for 10 there years, There is no sir. such We're thing. The there age. is no such thing as being open without breaking hearts. Sometimes people like Brittany delude themselves into thinking that people aren't getting their hearts broken. And two, 99.99% of you, if you even have to ask the question of, should I be open or monogamous? You should just be monogamous. There's so much headache, so much crazy shit. All the normal problems of normal relationships are combated 50 million fucking times. There is no way to do it where everybody's how do you, happy. How do you verify people's consent like their ability to consent to the relationship do you inform all of your there that is by doing it doing it and then telling them or do no you, it's what do you mean by verify people's consent like do you like cover like do you and melina have the kind of negotiation where like you tell her hey i'm gonna fuck around with this girl is that cool can i like are you good with that or does she have veto power to be like nah this one's too crazy don't do it she has veto power but normally we have to talk in advance before we hook up to her melina did you ever veto anyone he's ever uh slept with and he, he, he allowed it wait what so she can hear me see did you ever veto anyone he wanted to sleep with and he listened? There have been times I've listened and not listened. <laughs> yeah, this is like a bad idea, Steve, to do this. this person. Yeah, yeah I don't know why Brittany wants to litigate my relationship. Yeah, I'm not trying to make it better, bitch. So, like, okay, has he ever asked did she just call me the B word? She did. Like, well, she didn't say dumb bitch. What? No. She didn't say dumb bitch. Melina says you've never listened to her. I when obviously have listened. Wait, Melina, do you want to bet a significant amount of your life savings on that? There you go. See? Ah, oh, see what she just did there? Do you, you see, two what, are in do the you see what she did there? Do you, you see what she did there? This is why you make bets. This is why you make bets, okay? <laughs> That's why you make bets, because as soon as you put money up, now all of a sudden people's stories change a lot, okay? Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, no. Okay, wait, tell me then. Tell me. Clarify. Here, let me make a statement. Melina, tell me if you agree with this. Melina has vetoed people. No, 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 sometimes no. I listen, sometimes I don't. Yeah, exactly. When you haven't listened, did it end up okay? Well, no, because Melina gets really mad, obviously. <laughs> when did you guys uh, actually put your trust in each other? Like, when do you really trust never. each other to kind of keep each other safe? Absolutely never. What do you mean, keep each other safe? Well, I mean, as a partner, are you supposed to lift each other up and keep each other safe and protect each other from, like, maybe our mishaps or, you know, our temptations? Like, hey, I really want to, you know, sleep with this girl, but maybe she's trying to kick, you know, hasn't she ever, like, to protect you? Like, don't you guys protect each other? I don't need protection. I'm a big boy. Um... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> protect your feelings, protect your money, protect your nothing, nothing. Wow, okay. <laughs> well, how is she gonna, give me some ways she can protect my feelings and my money. I'm curious. 
Um, well, like the situation now, right? She could have maybe helped you avoid some of the circumstances that you're facing. By what would I? What would I have avoided now? What would I have wanted to avoid now? Friendships, girls coming at you, false allegations. Fucking. Worth it? Yeah. Jo okay. Remember? So oh, I love. Here, here's the fake answer. This one he does. He says, "I love drama. That's why I." Okay. Did it. Here's a well, question. I no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, here's, here's a question. A mad. I got How a did, Dan, Dan, Dan? I'm curious if you know the answer to this. How did Hassan Ooh. become the largest politics streamer? Do you know the answer to Darvo. that? Hey, he worked hard. He pulled himself up he by his hard. bootstraps. He's, he's handsome Wait, wait, do you know the answer to that, Dan? Smart. He's handsome and smart. That's Pretty why. privileged. Pretty Pe people, privileged. People forget history. No, he rode the wave of 90 Day Fiance. That, I'm pretty sure that's how he went from a K1 two- one visa. That's how he went from a- No, 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 not that. He went from a 2,000 viewer streamer, I think to 15 or 20,000, exclusively watching fucking 90 Day Fiance on stream. It wasn't politics related at all. Are you sure so, about that? You yes, yeah, that was his huge blow up. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't remember that. I thought he was doing a lot of politics. That's weird. No. I mean, if, it you, was have, literally, if you have a source, nope. I'm happy to see it. You're actually you wrong. A lot of people might think that. It might community even say, but oh, literally, it was riding the 90 Day Fiance wave. That was it. He got into huge. He got huge viewerships doing that. Like, um, but then he started doing politics more. But I'm pretty sure that's why he climbed into the. Oh, <laughs> drawing him back now. Good one, Dan. Nice. Yep. Well, I, I mean, I, don't, I wasn't talking to you there. I mean, I just, I, if you have any sources for the 90 Day Fiance thing, I'd like to see Yeah, go it. bring up his but, silly gnome and check out the history on his shit. Yeah. No, you, yeah, you can. Go ahead. I, but I don't think it goes back that far. So if you have anything more recent, because otherwise it seems like you're just kind of spouting out facts to support your position. Oh, well, all I'm saying is I act a little crazy, get a little a bit more viewers. And then we, yesterday, I was talking about mm -hmm. politics for like an hour or two with Ruminate, and I had 11,000 viewers doing it. And all of those new viewers were coming in because of the drama. And then they got to hear about how wonderful our God Emperor, President Biden is. So, mm -hmm. there. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Drop There's gotta always, be. So, I mean, so all you had to do was probably not sext. Uh, we have four wonderful people here. There's gotta be How something. How good could the sexting There's be? That's be what I wanna know. Dan, to not as good that. as it was with your mom and your Oh, mom. you wanna deflect? Okay, yeah. that's it. No, I'm deflect, not deflecting. You know, no, I mean, that's fine. No, it's there actually, no one I better. actually appreciate you it. Sex with someone she's got, uh, she's got very good literary abilities. I really enjoy it. She's a good writer. Um, uh -huh. There must be something we can talk about besides my sex well, life. There's got to be well, something. No, 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 we just... should continue. We should keep going. This is this is. Oh good. no! We yeah, that's this, what right? we want to do all day. Okay, here's oh, the yeah. question I have. On stream, here's yeah. the question I have. Tell me, Brittany. Okay, so I'm curious about your audience. Like, chat can answer this for me. <clears throat> if for some reason, okay, S Stephen really likes this and doesn't need your sympathy, do you lose your sympathy for him? Because there's some part of the audience, some part of us viewers that go, his friend betrayed him, he's accusing him of assault, he's tweeting at journalists, this is so awful. But if Steven's like, I love the drama, where's the chat on that? Like, where's the audience on that? Where is the audience in the chat? <clears throat> Listen. What are you doing? You're going to write it for... Okay, Ooh. I'll say it. Somebody made this post where I'm they're like, they'll say, yeah. Destiny? I'm losing sympathy for Destiny. He He's happy putting himself in these situations, blah, 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 blah. Okay, this was uh, two days ago, okay? This is my response. I don't understand these posts. I'm not asking for sympathy. I don't need any sympathy. Sit back and enjoy the mayhem. If you don't like it, tune out until the current shit storm dies down and we jump back into the next set of memes. That's it. I don't need, I'm not asking for fucking sympathy for my fucking audience. Why the fuck would I want, why would I want sympathy for these fucking degenerates? Look at them, look at these emote spammers. True. Okay. Sympathy doesn't make me, it makes me feel like a fucking loser. I don't want sympathy from a bunch you of sure online strangers. You your life choices don't make you feel like a fucking loser? My life choices where I fly around the world, I'm a millionaire by 33 years old, have a wonderful Swedish wife. Have, yeah, no, yeah, oh my God. Like, I hate my life so much. Every day I think, God, if I could just make better choices, I could be a fucking carpet cleaner. That's what I want to do. I want to go back to that, yeah. My life is so fucking miserable. So in the future, if like another like Anna or Lab or somebody, no, not Anna, she's been cool for a year. Yeah. Okay, if Lab or somebody reaches out, I'll just tell them, oh yeah, he loves it, go for it, babe. Yeah, 100, send him my way, Brittany. Okay, I'll Hell yeah. <laughs> I need you to go into the dungeon with the section labeled BPD untreated. And <laughs> send all those people right to my stream, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, you've heard it here. Sympathy, zero. Because the problem is that now, I here is something that would actually be destructive to my stream. Yeah. If I got into another drama, but it didn't top this, it would be catastrophic. People would be like, this is so boring, pathetic, I'd lose viewers, nobody would care about it. So whatever drama comes next has to top this. Did so, you vote this year? Yeah. Mm, you just didn't talk about it on stream much, so I didn't know. There's a... Um, what does this change? Hold on one second. <laughs> There's not a change of...
Oh. I'm turning it back no, on. No, stop! Chill! No, 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 no! no, 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 no I'm turning it off! I'm turning it off! Turn it off. We're back, we're back. I don't, don't say that. I don't give I don't. I don't give a fuck. That, that is a crazy standard. No, you can't even. No, 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 no. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta. You guys are funny. I wanna slap Abba instead of Steven. Yes. Nah, that's okay. wild. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So. Who's better, girls or Abba, boys? Abba, do you wanna tell us what the secret memes are? So no. Can nah, I can't tell you what the secret memes are because they have unreasonable standards of what they consider oh, secrets. Oh, But anyways, you can't I will the Wait, Just mine is reasonable, hers is unreasonable. Yours is reasonable. Thank you. Okay, hers is unreasonable. Okay. Thank you. Who? Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, yes. I'm a woman. I have more to fear. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Brittany, Brittany, you do like this, like, a, set, like, a big oh, autism no. thing. We're like, <laughs> We'll be talking about Steven's sex favorite? life, and then all of a sudden it's like, so who did you vote for? And I'm just like, Abba, well, how did you make this leap? Abba, how straight are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm probably like a 9.5. Ooh. Let's talk about that point five. <laughs> wow, you really want to. We went from Steven's love life to voting to my homosexuality. Potential. Oh, this is really cool. It's kind of like we're back on Twitch, where every single time there's like a podcast or a show with girls, the conversation always gravitates towards sex. Next, we're going to be saying, does size matter? Wait, hold What's on. your body count? You're talking to sex, drugs, and travel, and you're talking to Britney. What do you mean? Yeah. AKA two girls. <laughs> One cup? Just I just feel like there's so much story. hedonism in this room, it would be nice to take a break from it. True. Minutes. Yeah. Let's get some good hummus in here and just... What do you guys think about hummus? I love hummus. I make the best hummus. Cringe. What Oil. do you think about hummus? Wait, really, when I show up, you're talking about the most It's just whatever, thing. right? What it's the good. fuck? It's, like it's good dipping. It's whatever, yeah. What do you think about hummus? Uh, it's whatever. It's like whatever. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Y'all have not had good hummus. Oh yes, my Melly Mel. Hold up, hold up. What would you take as a sauce for dipping over hummus? Literally anything. Okay, no, that your, your tastes are. Trash. What is who? I, I don't think it's like God sent, but it's definitely good. It's. Uh, have you had good hummus? That's no, because people are always gonna say no. Dude, I had fucking if like store -bought, all eat food trash. in South Korea, and people are like, oh, you haven't been to a real like Korean barbecue place. Oh, you haven't been to a, you haven't had real Korean fried chicken. But it's like, bro, I lived in Incheon for a month. Okay, fuck you. Well, who, who makes good fried chicken in your opinion? <laughs> uh, well, no, it is good chicken, but I'm just saying for example. Okay, okay. I, was I think KBBQ, Koreans, Korean Koreans. barbecue, Korean barbecue is really fun because it's like a social activity to see the food cooking in front of you, but it's not like amazing food. No, I've never eaten okay. Korean barbecue and I've been like, oh my God, that it, was it, to it, die for. It's, it's just like- It depends on the cuts of meat that you get, one, but two, <laughs> Korean food, I wouldn't say the best part of it's Korean barbecue. It's the funnest experience, exactly. but exactly. it's not the best food. Exactly. Yeah. But Koreans make the best fried chicken. As a black person, I'm betraying my race. Okay, the, I don't know what they do, but the Korean fried chicken is- Insane. Uh, it's amazing. It's as a black person, I can I can betray my race and say that something's going on there. Something weird is going on there for sure. Yeah. There was a place. Nanny and I took me to this place one time, and we just went like fucking fifteen times yeah. while I was there, and it was wild. Let's let's see. Does the peanut gallery on on, uh, on on in Discord? Do you guys have anything that you guys want to bring up? True. Oh, oh am I the peanut gallery? Um... Yeah. What up, Dan? Oh, Dan, are you gonna come over to Miami today? <laughs> uh, well, no. It sounds like Abba's leaving right now. No, I was here till Monday. Am yeah, I allowed to yeah, say that? Yeah. Sorry. Say that's fine. Wait, so can we get dinner tonight or not? Uh, yeah, let's do dinner. We'll do dinner. Are we yeah? Gonna, are you, are you going to stream it? No. Okay, then we can do dinner. Maybe. Wait, what's right. this dinner? I don't oh. know if we You're not invited. Go, 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 do, go do outdoor stuff. Um, all go right. ahead, Brandy. Just go through all my shit looking for it. No you may want to engage in like complacent misogyny offline, so that's going to be a lot easier if you're not there. Stream the dinner. It's a lot more fun without streaming. Abba, do you like uh, going to the club? I do, but you're not going, so why are we talking about this? Well, hold up. I happen to go to live <laughs> dozens of times. Dan, you really life. goes to clubs? All right, all right. Dan, Dan, you and your bad knees, we're not going anywhere. So, so, so what topics do you guys want to bring up? Uh, I don't want to bring anything up. All right, um, so you just have people chilling this thing. You got straight array and who's Rage Paul? Rage Paul. Yeah. Rage Paul. <clears throat> He's but like 100% correct. About Wait, I do have something what he says. I want to bring up. <laughs> and then the other 50% is just am, fucking shoot in the dark. I am the target market for clubs. What are you talking about? Probably. Old Jewish guys, we we are in clubs, okay? We're out there. <laughs> I can't take this guy seriously. I'm not gonna lie, Dan. I really liked you, and then I found out you wouldn't leave Miami Beach in that. 
I, I, you should have seen. I, 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 wait, I you should have seen when me and Mooten lived here. Where is the chat at? When me and Mooten lived here, we were like, Dad, please come hang out. It would be me, Mooten, and two other friends, all four of us. And Dan would be like, You guys should come here. There's definitely something good going on in Miami Beach. And we're like, Okay, Dan. Yeah. All four of us polluting the whole time, by the way. Dolphins <laughs> dying one, in the don't ocean. Come in four cars. It's the same pollution. Well, hold, hold, hold up, Dan. Is it really because of laziness that you can't get an Uber? Like, what, what's really wrong? No, he said he would get one earlier. No, no, he said After he being would bullied. Not. Really? Yeah, I've, I got both. So I'll come over if that's what it takes. I would just, uh, but yes. <laughs> okay, so what's wrong? Like, what, what's your like deep d d discomfort with the idea? Like, what, what's wrong? That's that's super um, weird to me. Um, it's super what? It's super weird that you wouldn't take a ten minute Uber ride. Um. <laughs> I don't, actually, I don't know. Like, um, honestly, I, guess, I guess I feel I feel uncomfortable because I don't know. I so I've been in in uh, the Miami area for ten years, and I feel like I'm. <laughs> only been to Miami like a few times, mostly passing through to go to the airport. So I don't know anything about it. So it feels like kind of like uncomfortable versus here. It's like my fucking home. Wait, doesn't he go you know, I know everything going on here. So I'm, I'm more. He's like agoraphobic, but only like yeah, his home actually, is Miami I, I actually Beach. might be agoraphobic on that front, but instead of like my house. Wait, Dan, you like literally travel around the world. What are you talking about? Yeah, How but I, I miss my house to my Miami. computer Miami the whole time. is like way I'm, too I'm, far, way too much. You can travel, you were just like in your your country. Yeah, but I, I the whole time I was thinking about man, I miss. I wonder if my base in Rust is doing okay. Like I was thinking about that the whole time, you know, checking in, you know, seeing what was up. You know, true story here. So I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, listen, as I said, I'm Abba. I'm making, I'm making the effort to come see you, not Steven. You can t ask Steve how many. You know, Me? hey Steve, here, here's a big one. You ready for this, Steve? How many times have I seen your apartment? Probably never. Never. That's right. Not fucking one time. Yeah, but why the fuck would you there. come over to but my apartment? But now I'm gonna come for you, Abba. Okay? Because okay. you're a bigger YouTuber. Wait, you're not. First so of all, you're not coming to my apartment. apartment for him. Oh, well, I would be if I was coming to the apartment. No, you're coming yeah. for the to defend the Jews, right? <laughs> no, we already got over that. We're okay. defended now. Right. We're we're on solid ground now. Glad. Glad. Now I'm here. <laughs> Mind you, not to cross that line ever again. Okay? Right. I'm gonna bring the Hebrew hammer with me. Yeah. All right. Well, since since there's none of this, uh, Destiny, uh, in regards to your whole uh, large uh, drama that's unfolding, is that something <laughs> you just going radio silent on? Um, We're trying to. I ban all talks of them. Okay. Uh, all mentions mm -hmm. of them, mm -hmm. and that's it. I don't want to give either of them any more attention. Okay. Right. And what? No one's gonna stream with them. Oh yeah, I'm also doing a media blackout. If you if you platform any of them, I'm not talking to you for two weeks. Good. What if Lav and I didn't? Did you do that with together? someone else, but didn't fall follow, follow through with it? Who'd you do that with? Um, originally, I was going to do that with Anna, but then after I learned about her OCD shit, I lo loosened up on that. Uh, but I think that's the only other person, right? No, I think you did it with someone else. Who the fuck was it? Have I? It's crazy. I thought the timing like, was perfect. Yeah, I, I feel like, like I remember us flying in and all this shit's unfolding, and I'm like, damn, let the week's come. Well, well, he pussied well, out really early. I thought he was going to keep it going. Oh, Kessels, maybe? No, I, I understand it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get well, no, where it would be so big that I won't even go on shows or I won't have people that are, like, oh. platforming them. I don't know if I've ever done that before. No, you've only done it with Anna. Why are you going to the extra step? Uh, because Max, I think, is genuinely, like, an evil, harmful, abusive, rapist person that I don't want to be involved in blowing up anybody around him. I don't want people to think that it's, like, cool to, like, platform that and give him, like, a bigger opportunity to manipulate and abuse people. And because Lav is, like, his witting or unwitting tool right now to, like, recruit people in and abuse people. Like, Lav was the person that got Anna, first of all, like, wired the fuck up, especially now that I've seen a lot of DMs between her and Anna. I see that, like, she got, she wired the fuck, or she um, ramped the fuck up out of Anna, and then she connected her to Max. Okay. So, she's, like, his fucking little minion right now. So, both of them are, I don't, I don't want anything to do with, like... Anybody who's talking to them. Yeah. So, wait, when Max, and, you remember when you pulled me into a call with Max, and I was, like, I had, like, my hair tied back, and I was, like, it was, like, 8 o'clock at night, it was, like, a surprise... And you were trying to explain to me like who Max was and you were like, you know, and it kind of like in that moment I looked like an idiot to be honest because I was like, fuck, did I blow this out of proportion? Do you think in that moment you understood who Max was? And so then here's the, this is, uh, okay, so this is how people work, okay? <clears throat> There's like a, when I'm, when I'm trying to figure out who somebody is, there's like a, you there's like closer, a, Steven, get closer. Why? So you can have good posture. You're, you're so helpful, up your back. Abba. I don't want to. So you helpful. guys all have part of the mic. I don't want to like sit here and then like nobody can see anybody. No, I'm okay. You're drawing. I'm good. That's beautiful. I'm okay. I'll be fine. Is that okay. a mountain? No. It's a curve. <clears throat> it's a bell. It's a penis. 
Oh, There's thing. like a, a person's like internal state of mind can only be like one discrete value, mm. one thing, right? They're either a manipulator, they're a cool person, they're whatever. But there's like one thing that's like actually true. Yeah, they're, or no, they're just like a thing that's actually true. But usually, um, what? So this drama is crazy. It, it is right. But <laughs> so what'll happen is is when somebody does something or expresses some thoughts, my my idea of what they are, it's a very wide chasm. Your like, wants to see. Um, it's stupid shit. Who cares, right? You know, like they they could be like this person, like they could be this thing here. Yo, that dead ass looks like a pussy. Good, they could be this thing here. It could be this thing here, right? <laughs> but like, what what'll happen is, is over time, as they do more and more actions, eventually, like this starts to narrow and it starts to collapse, and you get like a good idea of like, oh, like I understand, you know, like this person is actually like this particular thing. Fuck, I can't draw the right thing, but like um. Fuck. I'm comparing it to a wave function, but I don't know if that means anything to either of you <laughs> fucking losers, so never mind. But like, yeah, so like in the beginning, like I'm giving Max like a wide range of like charitability. So for instance, taking out his words and everything I've seen so far, his conversation about like when you're having sex with a girl, sometimes no could mean yes. Mm -hmm. That could be true. Sure. But in now that I've seen enough of Max's actions, I would say he's probably just a rapist. That's what I was saying. Like now. literally you're making that statement? Literally, yeah. It's a very Abs statement. Obviously. Obviously, I don't think it's bold at this point, hmm. right? That if given Max's description of things, because on Max's, oh, here's something, I think Dan Antrieff said this, and I believe this too, okay? This is a huge indicator for me. If you're telling me your side of the story on some particular issue, and you already look pretty bad, you're probably really fucking up, right? Hmm. Um, so on Max's side of the story, he already, um, looks really iffy <laughs> but if i give a really wide range of charitability then i can say it's okay but my guess is, is if you were to go back and find that girl her side of the story is probably going to be even more like well i said no i was kind of pressing him a little bit and he kept going that i was a little intimidated like she'd probably start to say some of those that would be my guess but, i think i i almost want to go a step further and be like there was never any girl um i don't believe that here's the thing because uh -huh. i don't even believe his cutie's take like i think he's not you know when he said he hit his girlfriend, but he didn't hit his girlfriend? Okay. Like, I don't even believe that... I think he's taking things that could have happened to other people and saying they're happening universally, but they're not even happening to him. They're happening sort of to him, and he's twisting it to make him sound provocative and interesting and clickable, but they're not even happening in his reality. He's just... And then, because they don't, when they don't go his way, he pulls back. When they I, don't, I don't think he ever does pull back, though, does I he? I feel like he does. What's I, feel a, like I don't he, think there's a single he, opinion he's, he's pulled back he on. He makes himself a savior in the end. So well, no, no, I think the thing first is... At he's like, I'm a villain like all we, like all of us are. And then I'm like, okay, but we're not. Like, I, people can change. People don't have to be angry for But I think life. the reason why he revels in some of that villainness is he doesn't see himself as a villain. He sees himself as like a martyr on a holy crusade. He's never actually the villain. He's only the villain because you don't understand them. He's only the villain because you haven't taken the time to fully understand his nuanced position for why he's actually correct. And really, whatever you thought about him, you're actually that times 10. Like, if you actually think Cuties, the movie, is a, is or his opinion on his bad it's actually because you are in favor of like more children getting hurt because you don't want to bring attention to those issues of the movie right he'll find a way to make it so that like whatever issue you're talking about you're the one like if you think that his takes on consent are bad you're actually probably the rapist because you don't understand how nuanced and complicated blah 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 blah. i don't think he's ever faking anything i don't think he's doing like the contrarian thing i think he genuinely believes what he's saying but he's like this holy crusader in the middle of it all so you don't think there's any story he's ever told in which he is like fabricating any of the details the <clears throat> to make him sound worse or more interesting, more clickable, more like nuanced, deep, dark. I'm this deep, dark artist who suffered in a monster who's become a I don't think he's fabricating. I think he views it through a certain lens and you might get a shade of like- Is he fabricating the story about you and those girls? Not really. The fuck? The, when I say talking about the lens, descriptively, like what he's saying will be true, but the lens through which he views it yeah, is yeah, going to be the 50 thing. Yeah, it's always 50% true, and then he twists it, so it sounds. Like I don't. I don't like to guy. say that it's. I don't like to say that it's 50% true. So like, here are like statements that he might say. Okay, he might say that oh, you sexted a lot of people, or you've had sex with a lot of people that have come through your stream. A lot of people that have come through your stream have gotten like uh, abused by chat, and a lot of those people you don't talk to anymore. None of that is false. Right. But the lens that he views it through is like, you're doing this because you're an evil manipulator who has a sadistic tendency to get off on people being abused. But hasn't he said you explicitly have been using women and then using your power to kind of like decide if they're on stream or not? That's... Are you doing well, that? Well, I think that's what he's looking for evidence for. But he's made the claim you're doing this. So I want to know, is it true If I'm being did this? very fair to him, he didn't make that claim publicly. He's made that claim privately and that's what he's digging for evidence of. And if I if he has made the claim privately, it's because of things that Anna has told him, which has come through Lav. <laughs> <clears throat>
I, this is, I understand the difference of, of, of the disagreement, but I don't think that Max is the type of person to just make something up. I think he's the type of person to see he what's happening. He made up that I was a cult leader, that he thought I was a Nazi cult leader. Again, nothing that he, he, say I nothing that he said thought, was I wrong. Feel, you do feel. do the calls, you do do OnlyFans. It's his framing of it that's always different, right? Uh, okay, but the, mm -hmm. fr okay, the framing is sort of, it's just so political, it's basically like a lie. It's a lie by assumption. It's, I understand what you're saying. No, yeah, I would probably he's agree with that, right? Game. Yeah, sure. He's like playing this political game where he's making a statement without making a statement. I would kind of agree with that, yeah. I was going to say, it seems like Max is always trying to come off uh, as the most insightful person. Uh, yes. He always knows what everyone else is thinking. He always has the read. He knows what people are doing. And every time he goes on stream, he puts it out there and he can't back down because that would just destroy whatever little credibility that he has instead of saying, okay, I I'm wrong sometimes. He has to be perfect. No. Yeah. Oh, I, I learned another I rule also. I used to meme about this, but I'm doing this seriously in the future. Anybody that calls themselves an empath is going to be, I'm going to scrutinize the fuck out <laughs> of them. Everyone is an empath. Anybody Being a that, sociopath is the rarity in society. Sure. Everyone has I don't, empathy. Anybody that calls themselves an empath is getting the well, fucking microscope. Well, that's why it's fucking retarded. It's like saying that like you're human. You're basically just saying I'm a person. Well, no, because when they say they're empath, what they mean is they have a special, extra special ability. But it's not special. Ability. It's yeah. stupid to think it's special. That's where the silliness comes in. Does it even in. exist? I've never even... He there are probably some people that are more humans, empathetic than others, but yeah. every yeah. single like person, everybody that calls... Here's the thing. If you are really empathetic, you would never go around saying it because you would realize how fucking stupid it makes you well, sound like, like I'm an witch. empath. Like, yeah. I'm an empath. Or it makes you sound like you're fucking getting high off your own farts. Yeah. Isn't empath. empathy relating to another person's experience having experienced something similar? Kind of, but that's not how people use it anymore. Because um, I understand sympathy as under, like sympathizing, like having sympathetic feelings towards somebody's else's experience that you can't necessarily understand. I think empathy is supposed to mean that you, like, oftentimes you feel what another person feels because you've had a similar experience. But now people just use empathy to be like, oh, you can share feelings by just thinking about it. I, honest mm -hmm. to God, I feel like people today use empathy in more the way that sympathy actually means. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my God, like your parents died. I can be really sympathetic towards that. But empath and empathy sound better, even if like your parents haven't crystal died. Shit. It, it is. It is crystal yeah, shit. I think that's where it, it actually like started, right? Thing. Like Tumblr, Tumblr girls being like, I'm an empath. Mm -hmm. It's funny though, I have a brother who's like really low on empathy, but really high on sympathy. And so he's very like, very like logical and he can definitely see that you're in pain, but he just doesn't ever relate to it. So he can act accordingly if I can explain it, but he's kind of like you when you're driving. He'll like purposely try to make me like get a migraine or he'll like, you know, purposely try to like upset me as like a funny thing for him. Oh God. I like that. It's his outfit. Wait, oh my god. Someone's, <laughs> just, <laughs> someone's been spamming that I look like a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Which is fair. Right. That's pretty funny. I'll take that. The cringiest thing ever. Or finish what you were saying. Your brother well, goes, I, yeah. I'm just saying that everyone is different, but I, I think that um, like if you have lower empathy, you just maybe have a harder time understanding the emotional emotionality of why someone feels a way. But if you explain it, you can get it. I mean, people aren't stupid. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Most people. The cringiest <laughs> moment, I think, that was when Lab and Max were talking to each other on stream. And they were like, uh, I think Lab was saying like, I wish I didn't have the burden of knowing how everyone else around me feels all the time. It's so much to deal with. And Max is like, no, we need to accept that we have these gifts. Like, it's good. Like, we want to be able to feel everything. And she's like, it's a burden sometimes. And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, I think it's just like, like uh, not to use that word, but I think it's just like a kind of narcissism 101. Yep. Like they pretend like they're super understanding and they're the only ones who get it. And everyone else is like stupid children. and. They need to take care of them and yeah. Part of it is being Jewish. They said that too. Oh, um, <laughs> I think Max told me he's not even that Jewish. That's what Max told me. Uh-oh. Listen, I just want to really get back a little bit. <laughs> Love it. I feel like there was a big break in this content between the early stuff and the late stuff. Like, the early stuff, his whole shtick on the YouTube stuff before he became a streamer was that he would take a really treacherous path to make like a really mundane conclusion. Yeah. He paints himself out to be the enemy, but then the conclusion is like, you would do this too and this is like, actually not a bad thing to do. Like, I don't think it's fair to call him a rapist. The whole point of that video was that like, even when non-consent is verbal, you can have like non-verbal consent that like flips Yeah, but the, this is why I would call him a rapist is because I don't think Mr. Girl can not empathize with anybody. I actually don't think he knows what other people are feeling. So if he's having sex with a woman and she says no, he is the last person in the world that should be trying to mind read because he's gotten it so wrong so many times and nothing can convince him that he's wrong. This is kind of a stretch. He said the chick called him back and like wanted to go on another date. It's so oh, no. Oh, oh no. Hold okay, on. I, I'll say this. And, 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 so yeah. Okay. Go ahead. It looks bad if you say. Wait. What? 
stop. No, no, I will say it. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Having an adverse sexual experience with somebody doesn't preclude them calling you back in the future. You can do rapey things with people. Like there are fucking women that stay in physically abusive relationships for their entire fucking life. Okay. There's a lot of sexually improper things you can do. And there's a lot of like rapey experiences you can put somebody through and they'll still like at the end, fuck it. Blah, have a good. Like there are guys that come when they're getting raped. There are women that have orgasms when they're getting raped. Like I, I don't think that them calling back is any type of, um, is any type of indication that like there wasn't some improper activity that happened. And if what you're saying is true, that would mean that when Laf called back her alleged rapist after he forced her to eat his ass and we went on multiple more dates. You don't know that this mean... woman? You don't even know she exists? Like, you don't know how the situation even played out. Guys, don't even calling him a rapist. Wait, what? Man. Like, his accusations towards you were unfair, but this is, this is pretty unfair, don't you think? No, what? no, I don't. If any other person, Supreme, if any other person was describing that situation, what would you say? Uh... I would say exactly what I said for Max. I get it, I get the point that like, you know, she said no, he said she shot me a look like daring me to do it and I went and did it or whatever the fuck. And she was and naked had, on top of him. And then they had sex and oh. he doesn't describe that she tried pushing him off or said no, I said no or anything like that. I, I feel like calling him a rapist a little far. Okay, we, I guess we, I have a wildly different <laughs> notion of consent than everyone else in here, I guess, I don't know. Here, here's what I think he do, does. I think he manipulates situations to get what he wants, but he also twists it to make him sound interesting. Mm -hmm. Sure. Because consent is in new. I just feel like when it comes to sexual situations, like, it's so easy to put the brakes on things. Like, if somebody says no, if somebody feels uncomfortable, like, it's so easy to just, like, chill. Yeah, you can chill for a little I, I, bit. I disagree that it's super easy. Uh, but I agree with Destiny that he doesn't seem like a likely person to respect boundaries in that regards, and so I understand. Yeah, what but, you're saying. okay. But but that, but we, I think I think it's a stretch to go from there to saying he is. To call that. him a rapist. I think that would be the stretch that. Okay, I'm he's rapist. I think. Yeah, I, I think, think that's even, clear. I think, I, here's what I think. I think even in this situation where they're being completely uncharitable to you, in fact, they're going the extra mile where they're being disingenuous and doing all this stuff. I don't think your response to that is to be the least charitable possible. It's not. I, no way. To be clear, hold on, hold on, hold on. wait, wait. I'm not being the least charitable. I'm giving like that would be like the normal read. I don't think it's a normal read. It is a normal I, read. I don't think it's a normal read. She said no, and I fucked her anyway. The normal read no. is, that's really rapey, basically rape, if no. not actually rape. The charitable read is, I understand that consent can be complicated, and maybe she said no, but you're, that's a charitable read. The normal read is like, oh, she said no, and you continue to fuck her? Is that the entire con con no, context she of said their no. <laughs> and then I'm sorry, the context was she gave him a look. She, yeah, she shot him a look that made him think she wanted him to go for it, and then he did Wait, no, 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 had... that, wait, no, no, wait, let's be clear. She shot him a look that made him think she wanted him to go You're for right. it. You're right. Yeah. And he rolled the dice. That's his whole thing, right? But then they, and then what happened? They had sex. She never said, hey, I actually really meant no. She fucking called him again for another date. And this is all according to him anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, if I'm reading that, I wouldn't immediately go to rape this person. I think most people would be like, ah. But I, I think sound it's bullshit that he called rapey let's, flirting with him. Let's. That's the point. That's the hypocrisy. Let's, well, is okay, hold on. We got a clip okay. from, we have a clip from oh, chat. Damn, okay. Let's right. right, hear it. Dory. A couple years ago, I matched with a woman on Tinder. I say woman because she was 46. Anyway, we got frozen yogurt. She came over. We got naked. I got naked. Then we both got naked. We started making out. Sex kind of makes me anxious, so I don't like a ton of foreplay. To me, it should be like tearing off a band-aid, right? I'm trying to be patient. Finally, I get her on top of me. I put my dick in place, like right on, at, at her vagina. And I'm like, all right, let's do this. She holds perfectly still and says, I'm not ready. Clear as day, no mistaking her meaning, mm -hmm. she doesn't consent. But she has this look in her eye. Like she's daring me to just push it in. Like I'm some kind of pussy if I don't. I could have been imagining that. But I grabbed her shoulders and pushed her down onto my dick. Did she like that I did that? I think so. She probably had mixed feelings about it. Was it rape? <laughs> yes. I guess. I don't know. She told me not to, and I did it anyway. That makes it rape. Did the cops show up later? No. Did she want to meet up again? Yeah. Does that mean it's not rape? No. It's rape. But I don't feel bad about it. Okay. I don't... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna That's some level five introspection right there, bro. I'm not gonna defend a man from himself. If he called it that, then you gotta hold that. What up. if he's wrong? What if the whole I wish you guys gave me this much no, charity. No, fair, I wish you guys gave me this fair, much charity. I hate you all. Hold I hate on, all of you. To be fair to Supreme, had he not said that portion at the end, I think there's ways you could look at that that it's not that kind of His situation. whole shtick is vice signaling, is making himself out to be a bad guy, but then saying like this is a normal thing. It's a it's a treacherous path to a mundane conclusion. I found a fucking 14 year right, that was dressed sexy hot. The whole point is that like we shouldn't sexual, sexualize children because it can okay. work. Hold up. Hey, hey, hey. That's a fucking clip. 
Oh, wow. Wait, I think he is smart, yeah. Do we think that's smart? Yeah. So do we think a smart man got on the internet and admitted to a fucking, like, rape? Yes. Careful. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Careful. Yeah, okay? Yeah. The problem with narcissism is the narcissism... Look super... at the psychologist Wait, right here. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Stop, No, hold Did on. Did we not all watch that video with Shaylin? Do I think he would self-admit that? Absolutely. What if yes, he edited... Thank you. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me I wanted to answer her question. Let me shut up. Not you. Sure. I no, actually no, can. This is my no, apartment. No, no, no. Fuck you, bitch. He openly admitted he wanted to turn his girlfriend into like a lifeless sex doll, even when she was crying. It is True. Like, yes. Out. If you don't think he would do something as crazy as that, then you are bugged. Okay, wait. I'm also. No, 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 no. I'm finished. You better direct me. He cut me off. Let me say that. He got me off. I don't care. Let me just respond to her. Thank you. Okay. You asked me about his intelligence. He's smart. I said yes, but I would put his intelligence below his narcissism. And you go, oh, look at the psychoanalysis in here. The reason why I would say that is because I can see that when he is confronted with the decision that either has to appease his narcissism or his intelligence, he will always take the narcissistic route. A good example of that would be his bridge with me. He very clearly could have just been like, okay, well, fuck Dusty. I'm not going to say anything about this particular thing here that I disagree with because he gives me a huge platform. I've got huge access to his Discord. I have like the ability to grow like I will never have for the rest of my life. But he didn't choose that. That would have been the smart route. Instead, he said, I'm on a holy fucking crusade against this guy who I think is an abuser rapist or a serial sexual abuser or whatever, right? So I do think he is more narcissistic than he is intelligent. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, I, when, I when we talked about these things and you brought me on and I made statements like Max feels dangerous. Max hit his girlfriend in the past. Max might hit me. Max was like, Brittany's so stupid. I wouldn't hit her. I don't even date Brittany. I only hit girls I date, right? You brought me on. You tried to tell me that at that moment, Max was some sort of stable person who was a little provocative, right? I'm saying you only changed your mind on him when he went at you, but other people were warning you already. Okay, this is not true. What I had before was an open potential. What I would say is when you, I'll explain. When you would come on, I would explain to you, if you're taking Max at his best, faith. Mm -hmm. This is what he means. Mm -hmm. But the only reason why I kind of worked as a Max translator is because I would tell Max, Max, when you say these things, this is what 99% of people are going to assume. Like when you say things like- why are you like, assuming it now? What changed? He because I've seen you. more action. But we've all seen it. We knew it was coming. That's what I'm saying. You're the only person who's like, fuck, Max is kind of fucked up. And I'm like, bro, we all told you. But that's because you got creepy vibes. No, no, no. It wasn't. Okay. What were the actions? Well, the actions towards me, like making the psychological, like, um, Britney's a Nazi co-leader, Britney's a co- What fucking evidence, bro? And then he sat there and kept going after women after women, and women kept going, you know, I'm not going to talk to But I, I changed my mind on the women thing. After seeing him associate with enough women, this is way before he backstabbed me, was I said, I think you're actually misogynistic. And I said that a lot on stream. You said where that. You said it to me. I right? did, okay. yeah, no, I no, did no, say no, that. No, you want to read? I said it publicly. I said, hold on, Max. Yeah, you hate women. Because every time okay, you argue with a okay. woman, okay. But also, so the thing with you being a Nazi cult leader, there is stuff that you can put together, not the Nazi but cult leader. Why but why about me and not Oh, I'm not going to get to finish? I'm sorry. Am I not going to get to no, finish? You can finish? Okay. There was stuff to put together to where if you do an OnlyFans and you take calls from people, there is a potential for abuse there. That's Now, I don't think that's 100%. I think he probably went too far, which is why I defended you through all of it. I said, you're probably too far. But that's like a thing where I think a normal person could look at it and go like, okay, sure, there might be a potential for abuse there. I don't think that that's the same as like the level he's on now where I'm a sexual abuser. I wish I had examples besides me, but even like the Dr. K thing, that was a huge arc that he went on on his own, which seemed a little bit unhinged. Mm -hmm. But I think there was a large amount of criticism there that you could give to somebody like Dr. K, especially if it was the fact that Reckful said he was suicidal before he committed suicide, before he actually killed himself yeah, and, and yeah. he knew that so i think that he has gone on other unhinged arcs in the past but for most of those he's like okay i kind of see what you're saying there i kind of see what you're saying here. maybe yeah sure i can kind of buy this but like at some point there's going to be enough actions and the one that really started to sell it to me was even before he backstabbed me it was on the unhinged subreddit arc we mm -hmm. made 700 posts on my fucking sub in two mm -hmm. months like that was already enough to start to solidify that was before any weird sexual assault shit came out but then once that came out too then i was like okay well this is obviously super fucked Either of you. I want you guys. To oh, the Stardust something. stuff was really fucked as well, and I did say that too. That he would, bro, oh, for Stardust and Cherry, and I did say this on stream. When he was talking to Stardust and Cherry, he would say things like, "You guys are too emotionally compromised because you've been raped in the past or whatever to be able to talk intelligently about consent." Mm -hmm. I think I said on stream that was really fucked up because my charitability was starting to run really, really, really dry for him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Supreme, Supreme wants it. Go ahead. I, I just want you guys to entertain something. I think Max had a turn. I think like his shtick before he became a streamer was this vice signaling where he could sort of like really enjoy people seeing him as a villain but then making mundane points like through these stories of making himself out to be a villain. But then once he had a community behind him and he started to be a leader of a community and like people gassing him up and seeing him as this sort of like messianic figure, 
I think that's when we started to see like sanctimonious Max and him going out like on these moral crusades after moral crusades. I disagree so, uh, because of mm -hmm. here. This is another thing that screams narcissism to me is um, Abba pointed out some of the videos that he put out with Shaylin. If you're willing to put out stuff that 99% of people are looking to be like, okay, this is fucked, but you obviously think you're in the right. I feel like that's an indication of like, you are really full of yourself. Because some of those videos with Shaylin, and these were okay, older videos. And there was one video we watched of him like screaming at her, I think in a parking lot or something. And I'm like, that's pretty fucking yeah, yeah. yikes, dude. Like, yes. I, I think, I think this is part of the internet feedback loop where once you get positive reinforcement for doing something different, then you are encouraged and incentivized to do it again because you think you're doing something right. You're getting yeah, that's stuff. true. So, but so for him, for example, mm -hmm. revealing dark truths about himself that nobody else would reveal about themselves and saying things that make people deeply uncomfortable, but about himself that look terrible in the public eye. He's received a lot of positive. He's so brave. He's willing to go where no other artist would. He's saying the things that nobody would else would say. And so you're encouraged to constantly go through that. I agree. So that, that speaks to why he would admit to what he admitted right. to on stream. And it also speaks to why he would do that without it necessarily being narcissism. I agree with what you're... I agree uh, that that could be a potential. But the counter I would put is that he was doing things like that Shaylin video thing. Mm -hmm. That was before I think he ever blew up on the internet. Like, I feel like he's willing to put shit out. The one with him screaming in the car in the parking lot or whatever. He's willing to put stuff out there like that. Because I don't think he actually thinks he's doing anything wrong. I think he thinks he's 100% in the right in the all of that. I would suspect that even the women in his life have liked him. Because he's willing to say anything. Absolutely. Yeah. He has, he's a manic pixie dream okay, boy. Personality. So, so, 100%. So if that's the case, and that's just his MO. So even when he came online, it just became more of that. I know weirdos For like sure. that who like, if they, they meet people who get off on them doing weird stuff. So it's not even about whether he blew up on the internet or not. What's his life experience been like? Yeah, so, I'm sure. Doesn't it feel kind of honest like the way he says things almost feels like oh this man's gonna be so honest with me because he says the most like no. dark thoughts out loud you disagree yes, that's no, literally I, disagree. Point, I, 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 I don't think he's an honest person no no, no, no he's not that. but you can but see why people feel that think... way i could i could see why people think that but that's never the vibe i got so refreshing what a what a breath of fresh air that's what everybody says yeah yeah but there's yeah. that that, the, that, that um, was always so cringe to me i think i said this too on stream that like um, this triggers a lot of people, but if somebody is very quickly and easily very emotional, mm. I almost always, in my mind, I wouldn't say this publicly before, but now I'm going to be more public with it. I think that that person is always a manipulator. If oh. you are very quick to be very emotional, I think you almost always are. Because if you can do it on two sides, you can either do it where you're actually very emotional, you're like crying or whatever. It's a very easy way to get people to agree and stop attacking you and backing off. Mm -hmm. Or you can do like kind of the fake vulnerability that Max does where people feel like you're being like very vulnerable and very like open and, you know, raw. But in reality, you're actually very much like Max does a lot of things on stream where he's like almost crying, but he's very much in control. He's not like overly emotional. Like, like he's very much like thinking. You can apply that to everyone though. I, I said if you're quick to do it. If you're quick to do it, I will. Yeah, I will apply it to every single person. Because if you are really emotional, you know that, you should remove yourself from a situation for a little bit before continuing the conversation. Because mm -hmm. it's a it's a form of manipulation to be having serious conversations where you are emotionally compromised. Because the other person can't like reasonably discuss things with you. Because they're always going to feel like they're held prisoner by your tears. I just feel like your stream, though, is a collection of people who are so emotionally triggered quickly. They just start yelling and screaming. And so that would This applies to real life people, too. But that would eliminate everyone on your panel. I don't, you don't I actually don't, think that. You I don't engage think, fine. Let's say that you talk to someone for the first time too and you get into an argument and the person gets really emotional I don't think that person that is not being emotional should like attack them and say you're just doing this for minute I never like, said hold on but no but I think I feel like when you say that I think that people could do that nope I'll qualify this 50 million more times if I need to if you okay. get into a serious argument there are times when people are going to be emotional I never said you can never be emotional and I never said it's wrong yeah, to be emotional what I said I said almost verbatim I said if you're quick to get very emotional oftentimes in discussions I think that's a manipulator tactic I don't disagree I think if that's Especially always if you're like your, a your way of man. engaging with people and you see that pattern every single time. Yes. Being that's, yeah. If people be yeah. charitable, That's what you think quick to do it oftentimes means. Yeah. It's a pattern. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. yeah, you could pretty much predict how every Max conversation was going to go, which is why like it was annoying for a lot of viewers to watch him after time. Because you once you once the first few times you're like, okay. And then it's every time, irrespective of who the guest is, like, yeah, I can't yeah, listen yeah. to this. Yeah. Okay. Like, do you, um, like, do you think like when Max was talking to Shailen and that the, the doll review thing, and she got really emotional. Do you think she was trying to manipulate him? Or do you think she What do you think based on what I just said? What do you think? No, I'm asking you. No, I don't think Shaylin is quick to emotion. She was put in an extreme no, situation. But that's what I mean by Max would say, right? 
What? Max was. Perfect. Max is, but Max is autistic or yeah. like narcissistic. He didn't, he didn't call he it really good. Like, like, yeah, no. Yeah. Shailen, had, in that sense, like, yeah, obviously she's going to feel very emotionally compromised. There's a guy that's like being fucking insane in front of her. Like, I know if yeah. I put out that video about my girlfriend, there's no way a single fan would say it. <laughs> and, and, and rightfully so. Like, wait, there's and, no way. What did you say? There's no way a single. There's no way a single fan would say it. Oh, yeah, exactly. There's not a chance. Or anything like that leaked of like me and Melina. Well, of me, like the like, idea, yeah. like, hey, I need you to protect me online. <laughs> Fuck you, you manipulative whore. Yeah. Girl. Or Melina's crying and she's like, you're not gonna post this online, right? I, I will say what makes, And people are watching it on YouTube. <laughs> I will say what makes Max what distinctly different than anyone I've ever seen you interact with is like I feel like he's fully capable of like actual violence. Well he is. He's if he felt in the if past, it, he has been. Oh no, no, yeah, because no, 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 he no, hit no, that no. he hit a girl because she asked him to go to her his stepfather's. I don't want to get this wrong. Details, but what was it? But but, but like, I, I used to come on Somebody street. Somebody the first time I saw him, I used to come on street and say, like, oh he's a cannibal, right? And people thought it was like a crazy comment or whatever. But one hundred percent I could definitely see like a news flash of like in the future and like Steven's been eaten and like immediately I would know it's Max. Um, low tier God, um, thank you for the donor. Dude, I'll, you don't have to donate to me. You're a cool dude. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> don't. No, no, shout out. You defended him when no one else would. You're just manipulating him to do it. Yeah, but also low tier God, I love you, but you're like, you're <laughs> next up on the docket for like new crazy people, okay? So we'll see what happens. <laughs> I like where he's at right now though. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't think he's on the docket. You don't think so? He's think, over that phase? No, that's not the kind of vibe here. Like, Lotier, I think, just has his sit views and he doesn't mind getting a tad bit toxic online by a lot of people's definitions. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, I don't think. He, you know, a lot of people wouldn't engage in the behavior that Max does out of pure self-preservation. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, so like, the going the extra mile, the contacting every news organization, talking to all your ex, that is, like, somebody who has, like, no sense of self. Like, like to me, that's just... Literally, has he not think the journalists are going to look into who the fuck he is and then find out, oh, bro, you have all these... He's what he did to Dr. K. I think that's actually what keeps a lot of conflict from going anywhere is self-preservation. Mm. People understand, like, this is, like, a... Net yeah, of course, thing. yeah. So, like, there's no reason for me to engage in Why this. don't you think Max knows that? Is he lacking introspection or intelligence? He's... I don't... I think that... No, <laughs> I'm going to borrow a quote from a friend. I want to say who said this. Oh, actually, I was going to say you said it, but I think Melina said it. Who Were you the one it? that said that Max is probably a true level one? <laughs> did you say that or did like, you say that? I mean, I do think Max is a one, but maybe... You know. I don't think he can't introspect at all because here's the thing, right? I... It, introspection <laughs> implies, in my opinion, introspection is something that you do in order to grow. But if you're perfect, you don't need to grow. And yeah. if you're truly narcissistic, why would you need to introspect? There's no reason to. You're, you're already like perfect. What is it? Do you know the Wi-Fi here? Oh. It's this. Do you think that narcissism Thanks. allows him not to be a one because he's just suffering from a mental illness? Do you think it's the narcissism that makes him suffer? I don't do believe in like, Max? I don't do like the level system with the five, but I'm saying if you do a level system on, in terms of ability to introspect, system. right? he... I think he's probably, based on the articles I've seen in everything, I could be wrong, but isn't Max the exact same person who was 15 years ago? All right, you guys are spending too much time just shitting on this guy. I will say, dude was <laughs> unbelievable at controlling conversations. I remember there was a bunch, like, I remember there was one time, Dan was here, I think Dan is the one who retorted, but when they were doing like a 2v1 against you, it was Steven, it was Max and Laugh. And uh, I think he brought up this argument about the fact that he would never do something or he would never say something so mean to somebody. And then Dan comes in, he's like, well, that's not true. What did you say, Dan? Dan, do you remember what you said? I was asking him, if, I think, if he would kill Hitler, right? Or something? No, so you, 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 you kind of relate to Mr. Girl the fact that he does things that are just as mean or malintentioned as what Destiny would say. You guarantee Oh, I remember. I yeah, remember what's, the example? About, what's the example? Yeah. What was the example? Oh, uh, fuck. Hold on. Just wait. Chat is going to remember because I, I halfway remember. Um, oh, it was so good. And then I remember that and he said, and he said, no, we're not talking about me. We're, we're done talking about me. And he just moved on from the subject. But like, it was such a focal point because it showed his own hypocrisy when it comes to stuff. And then he just managed to control the conversation and just move it straight on without taking any accountability. It was about start. No, it wasn't starts. Okay. It doesn't matter. But all this to say, I will say he was very good at that. And I, I was actually super impressed with his ability to do that. Even if it was used to escape accountability for things he would say, uh, it was... Here's what Max should have done. If he wanted to combine all of his talents and take me down, he should have made a diss track about me with a sick-ass music video. Yo, Wait, he that would have been good. Where would he have posted it? I don't know, no, but it would have been... watched it because the loser's off YouTube. Rumble. He told me he was making a song. All, all we need to know is that I was the one Do you think he will still? Yes, you brought up the point. Him. Yes, yes. <laughs> He said to Stardust, you're emotionally compromised and you cannot have this conversation. Yes, he did. He said, I think he said that to Cherry as well, yeah. That was so wild. 
Yeah, damn. Oh, and that was in the middle of Ch of Stardust saying, these are the types of boundaries that I put up because I've been raked before. And right. I put these boundaries up. And Max is like, when you put those boundaries up, it makes me feel like I'm playing a fucking game. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> that was, like, it was so many, that, that conversation was so stupid. Like, it's perfectly sensible for a woman to say, I'm not ready for sex. These are my boundaries, whatever. And this person's like, you're controlling. Yeah. Oh, also, I really like now, it's really funny that a few months ago, Shailen isn't involved in online stuff because he doesn't want her to be. And right. it's, but now, wow, right. he's wheeling oh, her out. she's a star. She's, she's a star. Do you want any of you such a logic? She's on Twitter constantly now. She's drawing pictures of their new oh, family. Yeah. She's consoling uh, Lav behind the scenes as part of their new fucking cult. Like, yeah, I, that, that's very interesting that she's very involved now, but. Mm -hmm. So can we make a prediction? What's your prediction, Stephen, on Lav's um, chance think... of begging for forgiveness in like a month? My guess is in two to three months what I said was Lav is going to have a disagreement with Max over something because she is opinionated um, even if she's like malleable um, and she's going to realize when she has a disagreement she's going to think she's safe to do it but there's going to be a disagreement he's going to not judge at all she's going to get increasingly aggravated she's going to realize oh shit he is a fucking crazy narcissist and then I don't know if she'll come back to me if she, she might be too prideful do you but want her to come back? Um, not really. It would take Are a you lot. gonna accept her? It would take a lot of apologizing. Okay? What kind of apologizing? You don't, yeah. you don't even care about apologies. You don't even the care about apologies. The problem is that, like, it would, there would have to be some exceptional. Because so the issue is that, like, suffer. she's talked an unbelievable amount of shit to me, mm -hmm. to fucking strangers in her Discord and DMs. Mm -hmm. Like, an unbelievable amount. And also shared yeah. other people's stuff to you. And yeah, and she's, people. like, twisted a lot of her. And she's, like, a she serial, was like... She was shit-talking you before you even, sure. like, started talking. Yeah, but that so was, done, right? that was less blocker, personal. I didn't care about that. Back. That's yeah, probably, but it yeah. still is, like, a warning flag right there. And then she also has a past, like, Of making, like, bullshit accusations to people, so... She would have to come back as, like, I did, like, 12 months at, like, a Catholic monastery, and now I'm like, you know what? This is probably where I'm gonna defend that. I don't, I don't even care about none of that stuff. I just hate every time she's on stream. It's always like, <laughs> laugh, 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 laugh. I just like, I don't want to hear her. You know I, mean? I don't care about none of the other stuff. She can suck with no, Mr. Girl's dick and write together. I don't really care. It's just uh, every time she's on stream, everybody gets so annoyed. If you bring Lab back, but I think he thinks he's she's a good guest. So I think she like, absolutely is a good guest. If I brought Lab online right now, we'd have twenty thousand viewers. Fuck. <laughs> I don't, so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think if you brought her on right now, streamer? you wouldn't get grilled by more than 1,000. If what? If you Vlad came on right now? 13,000. That's amazing. It's going to happen. He's going to do it right now. No, I'm absolutely not. Fuck Are that sure? bitch. No. Hmm. We had, Oh, yeah, that conversation we had offline that you listened. I didn't record it, but you listened to me talk to her? Yeah. She said I gaslit her for the entire conversation. Gaslit her? Oh, really? Wait, was I, lying I, to I don't understand time. why you didn't record it. I was like, I texted you. I was like, Are you recording this? No, I was lazy. Because, oh, because I don't, I don't want to fight with them anymore. I was like, fuck them. Just, I don't care. Yeah, but still, who knows? Do you record our conversations? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Matt, I mean, Max, I was going to call you Max. <laughs> wow. Don't worry. It's really common to like... Actually, it would be like a max thing to do, I guess. One of the things that's really funny is that when you're more than two levels off of somebody, you start to see them all as the same. So like for you, a level three, you see all level ones the same and you see all level fives as the same. So like, I'm just like in your head as the same as like every other level five. Oh, uh, okay. But that's okay. No, I don't record our conversations. Do you find it annoying that people are trying to like counsel you on better choosing your friends or better managing your relationships to some degree? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I, I don't mind to some extent because it's always good to collect feedback. Because what will happen is, generally what happens is, is my life will run until I hit a brick wall or something fucked up will happen. And then when the fucked up thing happens, a couple things happen. One is, I'll look at how I acted in a situation. Right. Two, I'll look at how the people around me acted. And then three, I'll look at like what all the people around me said. And then I'll kind of like factor all of that into like the next thing. And then once a few of those things have come up, then I start to build on certain patterns. So like, let's say it's the case that three or four times in a row, mm -hmm. there's like some people that are fucking me over and I'm not even growing and it's fucking me up. And every single time there's like four or five friends around me, they're like, oh, stay away, oh, stay away, oh, stay away. Then at some point I'm like, okay, this is, I'm probably gonna start factoring in this more or whatever. But I mean, like, it's just, the, oh, wait, the how irritating- How many times does it actually take for like, several people that's close well, to Well, the problem is that I have to do a lot of work to factor in criticisms from other people because most of the criticisms that people give me don't apply directly. I have to work to direct them. You have them. to figure out if they can benefit from the thing. That because a lot of you guys will give me criticism saying that like, oh, like this is going to make you unhappy. You. This is going to blow. It's like, no, it won't or whatever. But like there are some legitimate criticisms where, like it could have a negative blowback on your business in the future, which is possible. I'll or like it could that. have a blowback on people um, around you, which is also probably true. Yeah. So there'd be like so those I types said, of criticisms. Well, that's like my criticism. Yeah, no, but you also believe the main criticism really that you believe are also like Aradette and other people where you're like, oh, I think that Steven is like deeply unhappy. Brittany, finally. Wait, I never. Brittany finally saw me off stream, and Brittany finally knows now. I think 
where she's like, you now you trust that I'm not like miserable or horrible about all this shit going on. Like, no, you're a masochist. Thank she you. Loves okay. to be beaten up, yes. and you love crying women and men, and yes. you hope that they Thank always you. come to you and on you yeah. and all those. Based. Things. Thank you. Hey, do you know what you just did there? What? You gave me a criticism. I was like, oh, you you heard what I said because I care about you, and then you were like, oh, but you also said this other thing. I'm like, I didn't say it. We're talking about this one thing, right? You want me to give you props when you're criticizing me? No, you were criticizing me. No, that. We were talking about your criticism of me. No, you were saying like I can take this. Oh as yeah, I can advice. take some criticisms. Like, yeah. Yeah. And but I the said, main oh, thing that you and Eric, the last time you guys were here, but you were never, screaming but at me. We're not talking about that. We're okay. talking about this specific thing. Thank you. Thing. Your but you're going to bring up something else to shit on me. That's no, I'm not bringing up the shit on you because that's your main criticism. The post on my subreddit and the things that people say, and the message you sent me even earlier was about like, let's get therapy. We need to save you. <laughs> I, I think I think he has like a grip. I with think it. I think we should go to therapy together. What's that's up? what I'm saying. I think I think he has a grip with like Eric criticism, and then I think maybe yours similarly. Where he feels like you guys are concerned about the idea that he may not be happy on the inside when it comes to certain relationships, and he rejects that notion. Yeah, but it's very like I understand. I think, why I, it's, it's the same I advice. It's the same advice that you're probably giving as her. The, but I think he feels like it's just coming. No, from the advice place. right now. I think he's super happy because he's ever ha having everything. But I think if he keeps going in a certain direction, he might lose the things that actually makes him happy. Like that, what? That's like my, what? Like, like Melina and Dan, we're gone. We're yes, fucking out of here. Because he's he's actually legit scared of things that he does sometimes and. For me, it's a lot of shit for me to deal with, like being with him. And when he increases, like the crazy. You mean like when he's I getting get these like, Twitter, Twitter dramas or like Twitter, but like actual like people like making these allegations. Like it's a, it's a yeah, of course it affects me too. Okay. Yes, and no one really ever talks about that, but it does. It yeah. does affect me. Yeah. So I'm telling him. That's actually a good point because yes, even though you you're will, resilient, you the people that you care about life. you probably are actually more. That's why you have to be Batman. When I do drama, I need to put on a mask. Yeah, yeah, you would need to. <laughs> but do you, do you ever take that into consideration? A little because, bit, but usually the ball is to. And I actually don't care that your fans get upset because at the end of the day, that's a right to. But the people. You choose to have in your life, yes. like me. I, like, you're a grown man. If you want to go fuck up some stuff, go fuck it up. But for someone who's actually dating you, or maybe even family members, like I don't know if that's actually the situation. I can see how that would be a terrifying thing for them. Yeah, but the goal is to um, surround myself with important. people that are really resilient. And if people don't have a certain level of resiliency, they probably can't get like to a certain closeness. I mean, like resiliency is like one of the primary things I choose for when it comes to like close friends and shit. I think. Yeah. Sure, but I would but, say that like even me and Dan putting out with the things that we're putting out with is still pretty like far out there compared to most people yeah. it's and we've, you've had us for a long time too you can't just find someone that you just have a history with just like that so like you have to like balance that out or figure that out that's do, why i'm saying do, do you do you acknowledge that like there is a certain level of i acknowledge it but when she says that she's not really saying that what she's saying is you're too crazy you need to pull it back because i'm not comfortable with it that's what she's saying but but no but that's exactly what i'm understanding which is like to a degree somewhere well, sure, but then my, because, but because, yeah. because, because She's saying, like, we've already met a pretty solid threshold for resilience, which I would argue, yeah, if my good. significant other was involved in a lot of stuff that you're talking about, I'm very resilient. I would still feel like that's a lot, and you probably should pull it back, because I'm like, that is a lot. And so, you don't, you don't think that's valid at all? It's valid. Because how many people are you going to meet that can handle that much? Because I don't think I can meet that. Pro the problem is that, like, <clears throat> it's not... <laughs> Go ahead. Well, it's not shitty for me to say this, but, like, I can live my life in a lot of different ways. Right? right? I can be a single person and be okay. Like, I can do a whoa, whole bunch whoa, of different things. you tell me on stream you really want someone to... to I do. It would be you. nice. But, like, that, it, it, like, there are a lot of things that would be nice, but it doesn't mean I'm willing to make a whole bunch of sacrifices. Like, when you say you really want a person that, like, can be, like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's definitely true, but I don't want to sacrifice a whole bunch of shit to get that. So, like, I would much okay, rather be, fair. like, yeah, that's the thing. So, so let me ask you. You don't think it's a reasonable compromise to say... Listen, I'm not mad like a lot of the stuff that you do, but maybe these more unhinged types of people. When you say reasonable compromise, you make it sound like there's like a, a set, like yeah. it, it can be totally reasonable for somebody to say, I want to eat shit every single morning. No. I want to have shit. Yeah, if somebody wants to and they want to live alone, as long as they're not hurting anybody, they can do that. That's their life. If they like, literally I, want to shit in a bowl and eat it, that's go for it. I, I, but feel it's like up to, I feel like that comparison's crazy. I think- the, No, no, it's not a crazy comparison because my life is insane and I yeah, acknowledge let's say, that. Let's say and you're, you're saying, is it reasonable for her? Because you, when you say reasonable, you're yeah. always testing her. Is it reasonable for her to say, there are way too many fucking crazy people in your life, you need to tone it the fuck down? That's super reasonable for her to say, 100%. But it's not reasonable to say that you're obligated to stay in this relationship for the rest of your life no. so you have to change. Right? The, it's also reasonable for me to say, like, yeah, maybe. No, but I think I like the crazy shit, I'd rather be single, that. right? Yeah, like you have to find a balance of like what you think is good for you, of course. That's what we're saying, right? No, that's not what I'm saying. You know what you're saying? I'm saying. going DEF CON 5. What that's I'm what saying. I'm saying. What another I'm saying. another I relationship. Yeah, con con yeah, counseling. Give it to me. When is that? <laughs> Go ahead. You're rolling your eyes. No, I think the difference between your example of like not eating shit and then saying like, hey, you have certain... Uh, 
behaviors that on the extreme ends that if they were curtailed to some degree would make our cohesion a lot better not an obligation but i think it's reasonable to expect that your partner would compromise to some degree sure. in some areas in that i'm not saying like that's a reasonable you, expectation yeah. yes yes and if you're saying like i wouldn't want to meet that that's fine that's perfectly acceptable for you okay, to say cool. that but gotcha. yeah i think it's reasonable to ask that i don't think that's correct yeah Do you i think agree so? Yeah. yeah. So, okay, am I hearing this right? Yeah, but when he says I agree, Abba, it's like, yeah, I agree. Yeah, no, I agree because but Abba, no, no, no. But I'm I agree with Abba because Abba is the only person so far that will acknowledge the other side. That is reasonable for me to say, like, oh, I actually do like this, and I, I would choose that over, like, a relationship or something else. Yes, yeah. but, 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 like, okay, the, the example, the example I'm going through, like, I legitimately think Mr. Girl is, like, an unhinged person who, like, for sure. would go on a murder spree. Like, Potentially. Okay, when you invite somebody like that in your life, yeah. Like, yeah, that would probably put a mental strain on a lot of people around you. For right? sure. For people to be like, yo, I would prefer if you weren't, like, bringing these people into all of our orbits. I think that's a reasonable thing. Like, this dude, like, serial killer vibes. Like, I'm not <laughs> drunk. When I say, like, I could see him rolling up here and, like, oh, murking sure. everybody, that's I really do think like that. Yeah. And so, you know. That's why I got a key code outside the apartment. There's an elevator you need a car to get up into. Okay, wait, so just to or, clarify. Go ahead, Abba. Do you want to say it? I was going to say, or. Stay away from fucking crazy people who might eat their girlfriends. It's too same. So here's my question, just so I'm not projecting. Are you saying you would rather have Max and Lab in your life than Melina? Whoa, whoa, whoa Jesus. Whoa, you make it whoa. direct like that, but yes. Yes, he's saying that. But okay. not like... Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait no, no, wait. Let me clarify let that. Me clarify. Hold on, because you're okay. talking about marriage. It's not Max and Lav. It's the ability to have like those types of like insane interactions. Okay, so you would rather have Max and Lav alikes yes. than Melina. Or than any partner that wouldn't be okay with that... Okay, so, so type of craziness. Let me yes. ask you, sir. Would you say you'd want to be able to keep these people in your life, but not maybe so close to them, or not keep them as like friends? Like you would turn it down to eighty percent instead of one. Yeah, so like actually have the interaction with them on stream, but not bring them so close to your life where they're involved with your mm -hmm. family and stuff like that. Maybe depending well, on what well, those. Wouldn't that be a more reasonable? Ask? I'm not saying don't interact <laughs> with crazy people because it's good for entertainment and stream. But I think there's a difference between that and then bringing them to your life where you're now like actually being intimate with these people or you're doing whatever. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I understand what you're saying. Is it a business I, thing or is it a I, my mind is different than every other fucking okay. person. So having to explain this a million fucking times, okay, this is, I remember, I don't know why, but I remember when I was 16 uh -huh. and I first was able, I had my $1,000 God shit fucking Dodge Neon, right. okay? And I remember even at the time, no other friend understood this. And that was fine, I get it. The thing that I fucking hated the most right. was any time my grandma would wait up for me. I hated it. Sometimes I wanted to stay out and come home at like 11, 30, 12, one o'clock. And when I would show up and she's waiting for me, like, why are you waiting for me? And she's like, oh, I was worried about you. I don't want you to be worried about me. I don't need you to be worried about me. Just let me do my thing. Like, go to sleep. Like, what the fuck? Um, ha having people that are like checking in on me or waiting on me or shit like that, it stresses me the fuck out. I just want to be free to do my own shit and to navigate my life in the way that I want to without having to like consider like all these other people around me that have these other dependencies where it's like, well, if I do this, they're going to feel that or I'm going to, like that type of shit just drives me crazy. I like to be a butterfly and just, okay, yeah. That's generally how I prefer. Now, I acknowledge that that type of person is really fucking hard to be in a relationship with. That's fine. And I totally acknowledge. And if people are like, I would never ever, I would never date somebody like you. I would never be a friend. That's cool. That's okay. And I accept that. I'm not, I would never say that you have to be in a relationship. You have to like be a friend of mine. Like that's a really stressful person to be friends with or be close to. I agree with that 100%. Yeah. If you're, if you, the people you choose to associate with are a danger to others around you, do you think you have a responsibility or not? If they're a danger to the other people around me, I mean, if the other people are in a relationship with me and they know what they're signing up for, like if I was like hiding that, then obviously. Like, okay, I'm fully acknowledging that if they're truly signed up, that's also their problem. Sure, that's yeah. partially their problem. But do you not feel you as an individual, you don't think it's important for you to care about the fact that the people you're choosing to associate with are a danger to the folks around you? If they're, if they're in a relationship with me, then I mean, like to some extent, like they're consenting to, to like. They're consenting, absolutely. That's not what I'm, talking yeah. about. I'm not talking about whether or not they choose it or they don't have some culpability. They absolutely do. I'm asking you, do you not feel like you have a responsibility to mitigate that danger for the people you care about? I, the, the it's incompatible. I don't understand. How's that not incompatible? They I mean, understand. like if, if it was the case that, like for instance, like let's say Max DMs me and Max is like, "I'm coming for you." And I'm like, I'll be here at nine o'clock, motherfucker. Real quick, that would just be so you guys know, Lav Loon is in the call right now. What? I thought you were banned from this Discord. The f oh no! I thought she got banned. Oh, oh. <laughs> who was it? That wasn't it was Lav. fucking Lycan with her. Oh, Good my. one, Dan. Wow. Wow. Fucking idiot. Lav and I think Max are banned from the Discord. Technologist, by the way. <laughs> oh, Technologist. I, I, I oh, hey, we, we, let's see if I can figure out how to fucking kick. Yeah, shout out to Lycan. I don't know who that is, but that was dope. <laughs> Isn't Lycan right. another word for werewolf? Yeah. That's right. wow. That's a dope name too. Shout outs to Lycan. <laughs> 
so are you not much of a romantic then? Oh, yeah, hold on, hold on. I wanted to come back to what we were talking about before that because I think well, was, I, I, was really, I really wanted to hear his answer. You felt incompatible. <sighs> I mean, like, there's it depends what you mean by that. Like, there's going to be a certain, like, for me, associated with crazy people on stream, like, that's what I do. And if you're dating me, you're signing up for that risk. But in terms of me inviting, like, direct, like, danger and shit to my household, like, if somebody's saying, like, I'm going to come and fucking kill you, or I'm like, tomorrow, I'm going to do a series on why I think all of those rapper guys in Jacksonville are fucked up. That would be crazy, right? Of course. That like there would be like a level where it's like that's too much, right? There's We're gonna get killed. Too, okay. As yeah. long as there's a threshold, I think your yeah. threshold is just way further than most people. For sure. Okay. And it's set at a certain level, but if I started to like grossly exceed that, right? Where I'm like tweeting out like me and Melina are hanging out at TwitchCon and I'm like, come and find me, motherfuckers, I'll beat you up. And I'm like hanging with that would be like fucking insane, right? So now. if you understand this, what are the strategies that you can employ in order to be able to handle that? Because Why are we doing this? We're really doing this all on Well she brought up, so if you don't want to, we don't have to we can move on. I'm just curious. Like I think he's uncomfortable with it. Okay, you don't have to do it. That's where it looks uh, like. Let's, let's move past. It's just, it's annoying because like Melina is going to align with like 99% of people and I'm like in the 1% in terms of like preferences. Right. So everybody hears me and they say cope crazy lunatic. No, I don't think you're cope crazy. Like, I think you well, are. Well, yeah, but that's what like 99% of my audience no, 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 is. No, no, it's fucking annoying. I'm there are already people typing posts where it's like, destiny is so unfair to Melina, blah, that, blah, 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 blah. Which like, is like, fuck that. But I'm, I, you are who you are. You've always stated that. She knows what it is. So mm -hmm. the question is, how do you better strategize for it? If you understand that there's not going to be that pushback in regards to like changing his whole career path, then how do you best create strategies to protect yourself in that regard? Do you understand? Um, well, I can't really, can I? Why? Why not? Because if I care, I care. It's not like I can uncare, right? If something is happening. If something that I find like, this is not good, I think this is like a threat to our safety or me or him or mm. anything because I'm like emotionally invested, mm. I don't think I can just like undo that. Mm. I, don't, I don't think I can. I think I just have to be pushed through it. You can't just not wait up for him when he comes home at midnight and just let him come in or whatever. Just no, it could be so. like... Oh, the person Shout out to your that your grandma. I your grandma was, was it, it grandma? could be this yeah. one. Yeah, my grandma. It could Shout be like uh, she's dead, but if, if he says like, I think I'm gonna go see the person that called <laughs> the stalker for two years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was sorry. Hurt. Stop. I'm so Let sorry. her finish. Sorry, shit. You're cutting her off. Go ahead. I I'm can sorry. leave. No, no, no. no, no. I didn't mean that. No. He was just saying something. No, wild. he said it. Please repeat what you just said. Um, if he says I'm gonna go see the person I called the stalker for two years, and I'm like, why the fuck would you do that? What the fuck? Like, it's just so, it's so stupid. And mm -hmm. I don't want to have more of this shit. Mm -hmm. I'm done with it. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, I'm drawing the line. I'm like, you're not doing that. And this did happen. And I'm like, I, I, no. There we get you. I get you. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, she who shall not be named. Yeah. There's a lot of she Absolutely who shall not, not be named. True. There's more than one. Yeah, no, I so get it could that. be something like that. So it's like, in that case, I sound like I can't do that. <laughs> and then he decides to do it or not. And that's it. <laughs> gotcha. Pretty much. Is there any uh, current rules like that? Like, can he can he just? There's do a lot of rules, Dan. Thank you. <laughs> what, what are some of the rules that are? Why? Right Why? Now? I don't want to go. I don't need to go over the specific on shame. For her to list every <laughs> I thought it was content and drama. To, but no, we're good. Did you? Do you want to bring up the romance thing? What's the romance? Thing? Oh yeah. What else do you want to say, Brittany? Yeah. Any other introspective thoughts for me over here? When you're in a relationship, uh -huh. you, can, you should conduct yourself with like thoughtfulness. True. And wow. I would say like. Like, my partner said to me, like, hey, when we have kids, you can't work past, like, six. Because I need a mom who's involved in my children's oh, lives. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I said, I can I can do that. Absolutely, I think you're right, right? Mm -hmm. I want to invest in my child's life. Like, I want to invest in my relationships. Mm -hmm. So I think that you're right to be yourself. I have no problem with who you are as a human. I think that it just sucks that you're married to somebody that might not find her joy through this unionship. Sure, I agree. But like I said in the beginning... And now it's going to be, it's like shit on Melina or me time. No, but no, in defense, no, no, it is. It truly is. Because now I have to shit on Melina in order to like defend my perspective. Was the two reasons why I selected for Melina when we first met was that one, she was poly and told me she might disappear for six months at a time. That was one thing she said. The second thing was she seemed immune to online criticism. There were a ton of LSF threads that were saying crazy shit when we were hanging out in New Zealand, and she just thought it was funny or whatever. So yeah. in my mind, I'm like, holy shit, here's a person that has doesn't feel like I have any obligation at yeah. all, and they might find a guy and leave for six months. That's fucking great for me. Or And two, they don't give a fuck about any online shit, right? Yeah. Now, obviously and reasonably, that feeling has changed as she's gotten older, as she's gotten more involved in online stuff, as she built an online career, which is all totally fine and great. But I am, in terms of like preferences for a relationship, I'm basically the same as I was at like 29, 30. Those haven't changed very much, but her preferences between 20 and 24 have changed dramatically, which sure. is normal and expected and fine. Totally. But now like the challenge is, is has she grown too much as a person to be compatible in a relationship or is she grown and can she compromise things she wanted i compromise things that i want and try to find some way to work or are we just like using like a like a hammer to yeah. get like a square peg to fit into a circle which might Do be the case you guys case know the term anchor partner no 
Okay, if you read the book, Ethical Slight, you'll Oh, joy. Oh, my okay. God. If you read any book about more than two, it's a poly book. Okay, an anchor partner is the person that is anchored to the relationship. You live with them, you usually cohabitate with them, you build a life with them. Why, when you guys got together, do you think even though you could have disappeared for six months on end, why did you guys get married and become anchor partners when you guys could have been the other people you saw? Uh, well, for me, because having a primary partner that is not jealous whatsoever is a dream <laughs> scenario for me. Okay. Somebody that doesn't care what I do, somebody whatever, that's a dream anchor partner for me. Okay. They, they'll be in my house when they are, and when they're traveling, they're traveling, and it's somebody I can talk to, and they're always going to be in my life to some degree, but they're like free, and they want to do whatever they want, and I'm free to do whatever I want. That's a, I'll never find a person that is like that free. That's like unbelievable. Like, that's great. Well, it's usually not an anchor partner, because that's an anchor partner usually means you live at least a majority of your time. Well, we together. probably live a majority of the time. She's not going to be gone like 11 months out of the year. Right. Um, you also get priorities. So, like, um, if there's any other girl, like, in your messages, they would never come before Melina. Coming before Melina doesn't make any sense because she's your anchor partner. Sure. But I think that we roughly, we absolutely follow that as well. Yeah. True. I'm gonna kill you. No, no, it's uh, true. It, uh, it like I'm true. never like even no, if no, our no, relationship no, worked, no. even if our relationship yeah. was like perfectly how both of how I wanted it, mm -hmm. I'm never gonna live with another girl. I don't even think I would ever have a third girl live with us. I don't think that would ever happen. Okay. That makes um, sense. Yeah, okay. like we would always be living together. And when it comes to like big trips and stuff, like yeah. places that I really want to go to, <laughs> or if I ever end up going to like Iceland or Finland or whatever, it's almost there. for sure gonna be of with course. Mars. Yeah. Of like course. the only time I travel mm -hmm. to meet a girl is usually to like where she lives at or whatever. I want to ask both of you. Okay. Yeah. This is different. It's different. I'm assuming both of you guys, aside from stream, talk to other folks about whatever's going on between y'all, right? Um, yeah, we do, yeah. yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Do you guys never just think about localizing more of that conversation just between the two of you and then like keeping it offline if possible or out of other people's ears most of the time? The problem is that it's very hard for... So... Even though we, I, the appearance is that we fight a lot, okay? No, but I like, don't think it does. Yes, absolutely. It, it, it does appear. Like Most that. people think we oh. fight all the fucking time. The reality <laughs> is, is that our relationship is almost perfect, except for like the other people right. sometimes. Yeah. But otherwise, like we've never been like abusive towards each other. We don't have problems like hanging out with each other. Like we have a huge like um, overlap of like hobbies it's and not stuff. Like, we like fight I watched over, you guys like, at the, daily things. I watched really. you guys at the skating event. You guys were having a good yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. yeah. We, we had, we, everybody was enjoying stuff. The reason why I bring this up. Up is because mm -hmm. one of the issues with like having these conversations, especially in front of everybody, is everybody starts writing their opinions. Oh yeah, no, 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 people. I'm sorry. And so these things start to color even subconsciously how we think, and they prime us because most of the people's ingestion of your dynamic oftentimes is like the more extreme stuff. For sure, and, and, and it's, these... it's unfair because I've seen yeah. you guys in different scenarios, and like it's fine. So mm -hmm. that's why I'm saying maybe also having these discussions in front of folks, or maybe even talking. I, I, to yeah, people. I agree. I, when you said in front of folks, I thought you meant like in front of another friend or something. But you mean in online, 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 stupid, online yeah. or even like. Sometimes, like when you guys go counsel, I think the like, friend stuff is important because there are times where we have disagreements and we are seeing totally different realities, and one of us needs a reality check. So having like a third person to like say like, listen, you're just way the do, fuck out of line we here. We do see things from very different yeah. perspectives, which is not like one person is wrong or right. It's like just yeah, completely. she'll be making, she'll yeah. be doing something where she's making in her mind the mm -hmm. most reasonable ask in the world, yeah. and right. in my mind, I'm like, if you want me to do this, I'm divorcing you tomorrow. <laughs> the issue is that the friend's not coming in without their biases. <laughs> Either. But what are you because, gonna do? Because, yeah. because unless a friend's been around, but that's why we have a therapist. Oh, fair. Yeah. Unless unless your friend's been around yeah. you guys a lot in person, and actually seen you guys interact a lot, Wait. they're only hearing about these conversations generally when something's off or negative. Okay, hold so, on, real quick, because I saw a lot of people in chat commenting on this. This is a huge hijack. Somebody says there's more chocolate than oats in this oatmeal. The reason why <laughs> the reason why it looks super dark is because I use a scoop of um, the chocolate protein. casein protein. Yeah. It's not like I'm pouring 50 million pounds of chocolate. It's just casein protein. that's chocolate. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, so so generally when folks go to their friends, right? Yeah, they're saying like, oh, could you believe this happened, or do you believe this? this oh no, no 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 no, we stopped that shit. Yeah, I made her stop that shit. Right, and, and, so so it colors their perception of the relationship generally negative. So they're coming mm -hmm. in prime with that, even when they're giving you advice. So it's not actually good sound advice. So that's why I mean like, unless you're spending a lot of time in person with these people then they don't have a real good look at it. So even when they're giving advice, oftentimes it's coming from the wrong place. So all I'm trying to say is there might be um, some some merit into like insulating it a little bit more and then having these conversations, especially offline, so you guys don't have to deal with a lot of that feedback that comes out from outside, be it from I feel her like or me or a lot of other people. Yeah, but the problem is that yeah. like if you're having a problem between two people sure. and it's a complicated one that you can't resolve because you see things differently, I think it's necessary to get third-party feedback unless you guys are like incest twins or something like they're going to be some things that you see a little bit differently like it's good sometimes i think to where you might have like i might want to go and have like a fucking threesome 
with like fucking Anna and Lav, uh-huh. and I don't think it's a big deal at all. And then like Molina's like, this is the craziest thing in the world. I'm like, is it really that crazy? And then I talk to like three of my friends, and all of them are like, you're fucking insane. And I'm like, okay, fine. I guess maybe Molina's got a fair point, right? I think that having like the other friend like feedback is okay to rein in because if it's just like two people disagreeing, unless you happen to be like very very aligned on a lot of things, especially when disagreements prop, prop up, like sometimes you're gonna start to see things in really different ways. And you, and you know. might think that my opinion comes from co- go ahead, Brittany. What two? What? what? Oh, I, I, so Brady keeps making fucking faces. I'll, I'll, I'll just say wait. one thing and then. Wait, wait, wait let me only finish. Sorry, I could off. Yeah. Brady was making faces at me. Go. I can't leave, as I said. What? <laughs> no, 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 don't leave. leave. Me. Right. Just kidding. Just kidding. Sorry. Uh, no, um, I didn't even know what I said. Thanks. Right. Way to go, Brady. I don't know what I said. Good job. Um, what is the point of cohabitating? Like, and being in love? Like, what is the point of being married for you guys? Being married or cohabitating? Choosing life partner. Um, I think having like a primary person that you are growing with, sharing experiences and memories with, and then like spending a lot of your time with gives you like a kind of, um, I don't want to steal the word anchor because you used it, but like having that like fixture in your life is like a very nice thing over a long period of time. Like one of, I think that time is probably one of the more important aspects of a relationship with somebody. Mm-hmm. Like for instance, if you see a friend from 15 years ago and you haven't seen them in 15 years, just that time aspect is like, yeah. someone like, oh my God, you remember this and that and that and that. And there's a lot of things with like Melina where like, let's say Melina is like a 92% match with me and I met a girl that's like a 96% six percent match with me um i've already got four years of experience of trials tests and tribulations Mm. and shit with melina like i'm not gonna leave that 96 part right they'd have to be at least like 96 five you know i'm just kidding um but like yeah so i think that the time aspect is important that all the shared experiences and all of that is kind of like building towards uh something Mm -hmm. that's greater than just like here's a new person that i met boom or whatever that's what i would say Mm. melina Hmm? what is the purpose for you like falling in love getting married having a life partner Basically, it's like the same things as he's saying. But I okay. think, but I think I'm probably investing more energy and time into that, for, like compared to what he does. Because I think most of his time is gonna be work or the crazy or like the short little like crazy like excitement mm-hmm. things that's happening. And I like the um, I like I like that a little bit or like random friends and you know like stuff that you do. Mm-hmm. But I want to put more time into that. Mm-hmm. I'd say so. I guess that's like the difference between us. Yeah, I guess. Hold on, hold on. So in my bubble, this is just whether you're open or monogamous. I just come from a bubble, so it's my. I understand. I'm fucking pushing my agenda here and projecting. Um, a couple or the two people together are me- are meant to be together, not in a romantic way, but in a we are choosing to be together. We're meant to be a team against the world. We're meant to pull each other up. We're meant to defend each other, protect each other. You are my priority. Even my bubble, even your kids don't actually get priority because they're going to leave you. That's what they're supposed to do as much as your partner because your partner is the person who's going to die with you, right? They're going to grow old with you. They're going to see you through every bad moment in your life. So I come from a bubble where partnership is about commitment, whether it's open or monogamous, that is about uplifting and protecting your partner against the whole fucking world. But I'm hearing from you, and that's totally fine. But I'm hearing from both of you because you're saying you're compatible with him that actually you would choose the world over your partners, maybe. You would. He would. It's yes. saying that you choose the world over your partners is a matter of like the type of partner that you have. Well, you have Molina. No, yeah, I know, but I'm just saying that the statement is like so broad and vague it means nothing. Like technically everybody would choose the world over their partner if their partner were making the right asks. Like if your partner said, I'm only gonna marry you if you never ever show like any cleavage or skin again and you like uh, have to have your hair a certain way or whatever, you'd be like, okay, I'm, this is like too much for me. That doesn't mean like you're always choosing the world of your partner. It's a matter of finding a partner. I, I think the goal is to find somebody that gives you like enough pros and happiness yeah. while making the least amount of concessions in your life. Okay, you so wanna... you found that, right? Well, so far, yeah. Okay, so you both agree you found it. Well, we found something. <laughs> when you say it with a capital I, you're like soulmates is the last I one. I am not I don't know. the one. <laughs> yeah, she might not be. I mean, but I also might not be the one for I her, really, right? I want to ask, uh, this may be a little bit hard hitting, but just fuck it, since all this is awkward as fuck anyway. That's reality. What do you mean? That's reality. Hold you don't on. know if it's fucking. Uh, yeah, months, Jesus. Months ago, you guys were talking about possibly having a kid. Is that still on the table? What? And how the fuck is that going to work when Where's all this, this shit from? He's fucking, he's being he's retarded. Just, yeah, I don't Melina know. has said, oh, like, I'm in sorry, the future. So Melina has said that, that in the future. That never happened then. She's My bad. Just being retarded, yeah. Oh, Melina said in the future she probably wants kids. I think so. Yeah, but, like, we've always said that, like, I think the floor for that is her being 25 with her saying like up to like 27 28 or maybe no later. i've said like 28 and, 30. Yeah. and destiny's done tests on his sperm so he's gonna have giga chats for tons and 40. <laughs> thanks so he's good <laughs> okay I, I you understand say... how big that head is going to be of this kid Stop. remedial Massive. remedial not yeah, retarded. He's he's not a big head. 
Thank you. True. He really has a beard? No. So, it's okay, just... so let's say <laughs> when Melina is 30 then, and you guys are having a kid, are you going to have fucking this craziness still going well, on? We, well, we're, we're, it's I, not about... Hold on. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. I actually asked this question to him a few days ago. What did I say? Okay, so, what, so what's the answer? Good. Okay, that's good. I didn't give you a response. The answer is, <laughs> is that the craziness wouldn't affect whether or not I have a kid with Melina. It'd be where we were at in our relationship. Where we're at right now, we would not have a kid. Right? Yeah. I don't think so, yeah. I have a question. So, I remember Max reached out to me and said, hey, do you want a shirt? And I said, I'm not giving this fucker my address. And I said, no, as a good sane person would, because I don't want him to know where I live, right? Would, if you had kids especially, like, would you let people know where you live in that way? Like, would you protect that kid more than you protect Melina? Like, when I think about protecting Melina, I think of keeping crazies away from her. Um, but on. like. This is some fucking bullshit. You think they can hear me? L L L L L L L L L. It, did you see that photo I posted in the chat? In Destiny's room? Dan? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm I, unmuting I the... Yeah. Unmuting but, the screen. Unmuted, unmuted. From unmuted. my mind, because it's like, I'm getting tired. It's not always like this, so thankfully, thankfully, it's not, is it? It's not always like this. <laughs> <laughs> it is always like this, and here's the thing. I think Please, I said one... Shut up! Don't interrupt me, thank you. You're doing this. Okay. Go ahead. You're not doing this quite a bit right now. You go. Keep talking. Kinda, Just keep talking. Go. Remind me of speak. Someone. You're still doing. I am. It. Go. Kind of remind me of someone that I kept interrupting all the time. Good. Kind of He's my idol. Path, okay? He's gonna be my new friend soon. <laughs> um. No, like when he's saying like, oh, she said she was this and this and this and this. He never told me about the crazy. Mm -hmm. He never did. He never told me about the crazy when I got into this relationship. Mm -hmm. That's something I got to see for the first time I think like a month or two in and I saw the crazy and I was like is it always like this it's like no 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 it's not it's not always like this it's gonna it's not gonna last I'm not gonna stream 15 hours a day and talk to crazy it's gonna and then it was just like the crazy after the crazy after the crazy after the crazy I was like wait is this really going to be this way and he's like no I'm like kept going I'm like okay I think it will always be this way so yeah. I did not know going in and I think like maybe one and a half year in I was like it's always going to be this way okay <laughs> 100%, yeah. Gumbelina, are you in it for the long haul then, as it is right now? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah. What's the over-under? At least we're going like, to put a manifold least, markets bet on this right now. At least now. before, I feel like I couldn't get in, like as much space as I want, and I can get more space yeah. to like take a break for a yeah, second, I'll, which I'll, is I'll, nice. Because, but it, it's not him. Mm -hmm. It's the other shit around it that is a lot for me, and it kind of like destroys my, my way of being artistic and creative. Why? So I realized... Because it's like back in my head and it stresses me out. I get anxiety. So, so every time you try to paint and shit, you think of Mr. Girl? Or like I see all this crazy. And I'm like, this is like, this is so, yeah. Like, Imagine. I don't know. Like if I go to Austin, I'm just like sitting in my little room and I do my creative stuff and I'm like on my own. It's just quiet and I can just turn stuff up. That's really nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 And, then, and then I can like function, like be myself again. Yeah. But then like when I, when it's the crazy shit happening again and I'm like, in it or there's stuff about me as well and there's just like all sort of stuff it like yeah. really is not good for my mind or gotcha. like what i'm making yeah, no. mm -hmm. uh, this is my final point on this whole topic mm -hmm. i would just say some things not everything can be talked through sometimes you just need time with things and you learn to build better strategies through trial and error and so not everything can be fixed through conversation sometimes you gotta just gotta go through it and then you're like oh you know what this is how i can adjust to this or this is the little thing that i can't change that but makes things substantially better and you just get better i remember like I've had that experience with previous relationships, even like work relationships. Like that is how we got through some some more difficult stuff. It's like it's not everything that can be fixed through a therapist or a conversation. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why breaking up with Melina for somebody that seems more compatible should be a really bad choice because like there's a lot of things that are potential with a person. Yeah. But like we've gone through like so many fights and so many like dumb things. Like we have a pretty good understanding of like where the other person is for most things. It's not a lot of guesswork at this point. Yeah. We've been together for like four years. Yeah. Like through a lot of ups and a lot of downs. Yeah. 
And then the, I'm just thinking, like, when the R and Nina shit was happening, that was three years ago. <laughs> three years ago, and like, how much has happened? I don't even that? know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's but yeah. It's just a lot of shit. I think oftentimes, especially people who are like online, like uh, people who see things through the online, it's like, oh, this is unacceptable, this is that. And it's just like, yeah, sometimes, you know, you'd be surprised how like most relationships go through like extreme turbulence for long periods of time. And then mm-hmm. they come out on the other side and they kind mm-hmm. of find middle ground where they can work things out. And then, you know, the pros of being that person far outweigh any of the cons. So you just keep pushing. So that's what I would say. Cool. No more of a therapy session or whatever. Any other comments, it. Brittany? Anything else you want to throw in there? We're good. In oh, we're doing it. my yeah. bubble. Go ahead, Brittany. Talk go ahead. To talk, about, talk to us about yeah, your Go bubble. ahead, Brittany. What do you, no, what do you got I, for us? Go. I think you're weirdly so compatible, but yet not joyful, and it's weird to me. Joy is overrated. <laughs> Why? What do you think? I don't know. Like, I want to see you guys being, like, lovey-dovey, but maybe that's me projecting, like, romance on you because I'm oh, I think, No, I know what's happening. I think he... Okay. He's really bad at being romantic, lovey-dovey, oh. and he's very bad at giving compliments. Mm. He is just not, he cringes when he does it. That's mm. why you don't see it, because he can't do it. Okay, and then also, wait, hold on. It. In some ways, but in other ways, we are super lovey-dovey. Yeah. I'm just not as yeah. comfortable doing it around other people. That's fair. That's a that's it it is cringe. Like, she fair. came out from stream today, and I was, like, sitting on the couch, and I was like, come give me hugs, and she, like, slept with me for, like, three Aww. minutes. Right? Like, when I was three, I had to... Yeah, when you come out, yeah, we'll do that shit all year. But I don't want to be like, yeah, I don't want to be like, run other people, Oh. Yeah, because he's done it a few times already. I think, honestly, wait, I've said this before. But that's like, yeah. I think it's better if you show a little bit more of that around people, so it doesn't... I think it's... Like a tiny bit, tiny bit, so it's not just cold, because in that case, people probably just think, like, that we're not okay. So we talked about this briefly, a little bit, okay? But something that I'm very conscious of, that I try to be very careful of, is when I'm hanging around other people, especially if it's just one other person, I like to turn down the lovey-dovey stuff a lot because I think it makes the other person feel very, very alienated. Um, when you're Fair. hanging out with a couple yeah. and then they're like, aw, what do you think, Brittany? Like, what do you think of blah, blah, blah? Like, I think that the other person's no, like, like, like I don't even know that. why I'm here. But like, let's say that you don't cuddle me or like look at me or anything and you just talk to another person. It probably looks like you're like, you hate me or something for the other like, person. I don't think that they very, ever get that impression. I would impression. say you're very considerate but not the warmest person I've ever met. I, I disagree. Sure. I, I've seen you guys just from afar, just like the brief periods I have. There's a roll around it's yesterday. It's too much, it's too much. <laughs> okay, I can't believe it's too much. Yesterday they were really cute together. The way I saw you talking together and like. Most of the couples, old couples, they don't be doing this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I try to see that shit. All, all I'm trying to say is, irrespective of how everyone else perceives you, if within the confines of your dynamic, you feel good when you guys are together and yeah. you can spend time, then, I mean, that's, that's because I've been mean, hacking. Someone tried to rub my hand off my head. But I think it's cool. So I just want to say that. Yeah. All this joy. So I think disgusting. it really depends on who you're, like, who we would see. I think. What do you mean? I think. I think there's definitely people that could be like, I want you guys to be happy and like together because otherwise it makes me uncomfortable, like I'm a problem. Or it could be people that's like, I feel super left out. I feel like it's like, yeah, it depends on the person that we would, 100%. Maybe. I would say so, yeah. Because some people are like, are you guys okay? There's, is this is like a for? 95% like human thing where I feel like generally when I'm with a third person, I almost always want, I'll put like 95% of the attention on that person. Because it just feels like there's such a high potential for that person to feel alienated. Yeah, like, of course. But like, yeah. there should be, they shouldn't no, should, think that we hate that each way. other. No, 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 no. What, like, what should happen is that we're both focusing only on that person. Yeah, like, that's together. what I think. Yeah, 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 that's what it should be doing. Yeah. That's what I Ooh, feel like. Yeah. It's like a threesome. One person's a star. Yeah, yeah like, kind of. But unironically, like in those cases, yeah. I should. I feel like it should be the third yeah. person. Because like, if you're a third person brought in and the couple's like ignoring you, like, that I gets really weird. I'm worse than you are. I'm worse than you If I was seeing a couple... I would want to see them together as much. I would like almost want to sleep on the couch because I I, I need to know that I'm like just a third. <laughs> I mm. need to know that. I would be a little uncomfortable if it's one person what is paying too much attention. What about if you can make your way up like the corporate ladder a little bit and all you have to do is kind of dethrone the existing like number two. Like, you know, you see that there's like Melina in charge right now, but maybe if, you know, you really act and work on Steven after a while, maybe you can get Melina to like get pushed out and then you can be the main boss bitch. What is he talking about? What about then? Is he talking about loud? I think I, 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 you just shit stir. Mm. He's just doing a full no, job just, at it. Yeah, I was just that, asking, was, like, yeah if, that was pretty If there bad. was like a person that felt like her and Steven are meant to be together, like the main stumbling block is going to be Melina. So you have to find a way to get rid of Melina. Sure. Maybe they're into Melina though. Maybe Steven's the issue. Mr. Girl's about to come that's through, what? eat Melina, and then eat Steven. Gonna He's gonna taxidermy yeah, you and keep your body in his house. Sickness. I'm telling you. Is there anything else you want to bring up? Uh... Yeah, go ahead, Brandy. This is your chance. Yeah. Go, any other parts of the ethical slut you want to quote to us? Because <laughs> you guys gotta go do your sunset. Read it. Read the book. 
Okay. No, I'm good. I'm happy. You sure? Uh, yeah, I'm happy. You guys are happy. Might be anything else, maybe. There's got to be some mannerism I have. I want to slap you on screen. Yeah. The ladies want to go to the beach or something, right? Well, you guys want to go whenever. Yeah, but that's yeah. true. I'm, I'm, this is something nice. Melina to. Yeah, you know has a great beach. Miami Beach. They're well, the best. Yeah, my, it's my. So house. I have a stream at nine. So I'm not sure. Like, gone down. If you guys want to have dinner, are you gonna keep streaming, or do we? Is this? Like are we eating we dinner, Dan, or what's going on? Yeah, let's do it. You guys come over. We'll figure it out. Absolutely. Oh, what time days. is it? Hey, I already said I'm six. gonna do more than my fair share. So when we go to dinner now, I can go with you, and that way I can eat before I go do my other stream. You wanna go eat something? It would take like 30, 40 minutes to get to the restaurant anyways. Yeah. 30 or 40 minutes? What? I don't know how things work here. Oh. No, it's six. It's 15, overnight. 20 minutes at the most. Okay, great. Wait, we're going to see Dan now. 10 minutes from driving. Yes. Um, yeah. We go see Dan in two minutes. minutes. We, if we go to Dan, okay, we're going to go eat Dan? Yeah. Yeah. What time? I don't get what time hangry. Time you get hangry? I get hangry if I don't eat. Oh, this girl, she's a lot. You are a lot. <laughs> she, she is a lot. Yeah. I, I, I have no qualms about saying You are. <laughs> At least I tell you guys what I need, though. <laughs> yeah, you need a lot. <laughs> I like food. <laughs> you don't just like food. You, like, need food <laughs> constantly. I do. Um, so, yeah, what do you do? You guys want to go eat now? Do you want to let them go to the beach and then go whatever? Or s- do we want to skip the beach and go to dinner? Me, yeah. Yeah, let's skip I think the beach it might and go to dinner. Too late. Yeah. yeah, let's just go to dinner. Okay. If you... What, it's almost six now. How yeah. long? If you went to the beach. Because what you could do is if no. you want to... What? Hold on, just listen to the plan. Why are you saying no? I don't think so. I think I know where you're going. Okay. Where was I going to go? Where was I going to go with this? It's almost six now. You can go to the beach and get there by like six fifteen, and then you hang out till like seven thirty. Then we can meet someplace and eat yeah, from like seven forty-five to like eight forty-five, and then I could drop you off at wherever you're going with Sneeko. Or I can I can Uber too. Or, or that too. Because yeah. me and him, we're gonna have a conversation just with the boys. Well, oh, I just ate my so pacing. Uh, that, that is the big out. thing. Yeah. We gotta get the bitches out. They fuck Chill, dance. Out constantly. What? Oh, I mean, oh, Dan's oh. wife's not in the room, so he feels like the big man in the house right yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> I said. Is she driving one of the cars? So you're not allowed to drive. Uh, no, she doesn't drive. Andy's not allowed to drive. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, I can she drive this way. She's like, like this is too fast to go, Dan. Uh, I can drive if I want to. I just choose not to. So that's, that's so. So you guys down with that or no? Sure. Yeah. So you can go now and we can meet at a restaurant at 8 o'clock. We can be at the restaurant at 8. Is that okay? Okay. Don't look at me like I'm going to really make this decision. I'm going to let you guys make it. You can grab a little something. Can I I decide? All right, so all of you guys, I'm right next to the beach. So all of you guys drive over. Me, Steve, and Abba will hang out. Am I going to... And Brittany. We're comfortable right here, Dan. Aren't you comfortable? Yeah, yeah, we're comfortable. I'm not coming to Miami Beach until we go and eat. Uh, Wait, what does he want? He's just lazy. He wants us to... He likes to video record people that are hanging out. His... Yeah, yeah. No, we're just gonna... well, <laughs> okay. We're going okay, to dinner, bro. I'm not, I'm not kicking it with. Wait, he wants me. us to come over to his place. Yes, but there's literally we're never going there. What we might not... go. Damn, we might go there to pick you up. We're not gonna go just hang. Why wouldn't we move from hanging out here to hanging out in your we're place? We're not hanging out your place. That's not happening. <laughs> That's not even an option. I'm not even opening or like entertaining. Oh my god, he's crying right now. That's fine. Call I'm Dan crying. Right crying. Now. Let him cry. So, oh, so yeah. Right well, so why don't we? Well, let's just stick to that plan. I like that idea. Because I'm not really hungry right now anyway, so mm-hmm. for me to go eat right now makes no sense. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, so we're going to be at a restaurant at 8 o'clock. Cool. We might pick Dan up, but we'll be at a restaurant at 8 o'clock, okay? Okay, I'm let, trusting let, you let, guys let, to get let there. Let her see some part of Miami. She hasn't seen anything. She's never been here. Huh? She's never seen any of Miami. Yeah. yeah. Or, yeah, we're kind of going to the same place we went to last mm-hmm. time. That's okay. fine, too. Around, cool. yeah. Are but we there's, lifting? like, things going on, okay, huh? Yeah. Are we lifting? Yes. Or Ubering? Ubering. Okay, because okay. I can't drive. Okay. Cool. Just steal a car. Are you sure, Steven? I sure you what? You don't want one for the road? Boys how hard are you going to do it? How hard do you want me to do it? <laughs> what is the point? Am I doing Abba, it anything for this? Even, even if it's after it, Abba, uh, this is I wanted to show you some the of the crazy. prepping stuff. If the you stream was requesting it. It wasn't even my idea. I wouldn't even have thought about it. Your stream was like, slap him. And I was like, sounds kind of funny. Steven, are you down to get slapped or no? If you really want to. If you really want to do it. Do you want me to? Sure, go for it. Oh, wait, you're not even going to stand up for it? Why would I stand up? Okay, wait, because if I hit you here, I'm a right hand. You're not going to face the Are you going to like fucking... This is going to be hard. No, no, if you stand up. <laughs> if you... You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You're wait, using which hand? I want it in my right hand. Because okay, this... if you're using your right hand, I don't want to <laughs> see that side of the face. This is how you do it. You set up right here because nobody cares what you look. We want to see his face and his reaction. There you go. Yeah, but if I slap him, he's going to move this way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Away from the camera. That's okay. I don't think I'm going to move at all. That's okay. Oh, no. Why? <laughs> That's just so mean. You just, you have so much hair. It's yeah, cute. Like, listen, you gotta angle the camera up. Wait, stop. You have to an- an- angle stop. <laughs> it's that camera angled up. up. It's missing half of it. You're about you to waste this for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> then sit down. Where am I supposed to? This seems very 
Alright. Obama. Okay. Hold up. No, do that in an angle like this. There you go. Alright. There you go. Okay. Oh god. Okay. What? Why? You just seem so scared. Shh. I just am. Practice. It's very... I don't want to hit your ear. Just... Jesus. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you, do you need aftercare? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll be traumatized okay. by the later Donate day. to Steven. He needs it. Alright. He's going to become a... Everybody dish. watching right now, you guys can engage in misogyny for one day as a result of a woman <laughs> abusing a man on stream. not doing misogyny. For one day, I think after this, you have to rise above. At what stream could you ever see a dude doing that to lay? I'm about to slap the shit out of you. Okay. Hold up. Actually, you want to slap me? Yeah, oh my god. Is everyone just? You're too tall. I gotta stand up for this. Yeah, listen. No, you don't. Oh, wait, look at my earrings. Listen, listen, listen. Hold up. I have a W. Right. Yes, I want to see this. <laughs> okay, Steven, this is for you. Okay. I want Rub it. My hand. <laughs> okay, this is how you guys get wait. quality in life. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my god. There you go. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't go crazy. I, I didn't go crazy. I didn't go crazy. You didn't go crazy. I can say. I, go I don't know if this is okay. That's what do you mean? She slapped you. It's I'm... consensual BDSM. Yeah. <laughs> she I said it afterwards, okay though. With it. Okay. There you go. I fixed everything. Now we're good. <laughs> Abba, I feel like we're really close now. <laughs> I, I just want to appreciate I got to slap somebody for free. <laughs> Appreciate you, Stephen. No problem, dude. Yeah. I'm here to make dreams come true, okay? Yeah, they got it on camera, too. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna tell my editor and be like, get that right now before he deletes it. All right. All right, guys, see you. Make yeah. sure. I, I will say to Brittany's credit, she did not even hesitate. She said, yeah, do it. So shout out to Brittany for that. Yeah, she was pressured into that. I will say, I actually gotta give her credit. I didn't think she'd see it, say yes. All right. <laughs> Okay, I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine, not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense, I've been nothing but blessed, so why's my life a mess, please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking, yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth, and living life as a fool. Da 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 da